bones Don't you know I'm falling apart right in front of you. Can't you see? I lose control when you're not next to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're breaking my heart, baby. You make a mess of me. Problematic. Problem is, I want your body like a fiend, like a bad habit. Bad habits, how to break when I'm with you Yeah, I know I can do it on my own But I want that real full moon Black magic that it takes to Problematic Problem is when I'm with you, I'm an addict And I need some relief My skin and your teeth Can't see the forest through the trees Got me down on my knees Darling, please, oh. I'm falling apart right in front of you, can't you see? I lose control oh, when you're not here with me. Yeah, you're breaking my heart, baby, you make a mess of me. From the Greenway Kia of West Palm Beach Studio. We want to see you in a Greenway Kia. This is 97.9 WRMF Palm Beach. It's time to wake up and let the weirdness begin. It's the KBJ Show. To start your morning. Kevin uh-huh. is the host. And his skin pigment is whiter than Casper the Ghost. Virginia. <laughs> Sounds like this. Nick Dame vs. Speed. So don't get our pitch. It's a Jason. Talks like his best. And they love to talk about Bigfoot and stats. Bro. So get ready. Here we go. You're listening to 97.9 with the KBJ Show. All right. Hello and welcome to the KBJ Show. Back from a little spring break. It feels so springy outside, doesn't it? Uh, it's a little wet. It's a little wet. <laughs> yeah, some rain showers going on out there today, and it's a little bit uh, cooler than it has been. It was oh. crazy hot over the weekend. One of my darn kids moved my umbrella. Uh-oh. <laughs> and that's what they always do. It's like they, they keep moving things, <laughs> always keep you guessing, keep you on your toes. The umbrella stays in the car so that when yeah. mom has to run around and it's raining, mom knows the umbrella is in the door of the car. I hear you. Yeah. Oh, Everybody's got to have a place. Don't have to tell me, Virginia. I'm there for it. So <laughs> you're, you're in wet. it too. Yeah. So yeah. you're a little wet today? A little soggy shoe. Okay. I, the wet look, I, I think it looks good on you. I think the <laughs> hair looks good. Thank you. Mm-hmm. It was, but, I swear, that was not supposed to be creepy. <laughs> <laughs> it came off creepy. <laughs> well, we're uh, all back here today. It's uh, good to see everybody. We'll let you know what uh, we did over the last uh, better part of a week. As I know, a lot of kids are on spring break this week. Man, I don't know why everybody can't coordinate their spring break schedules. Have you noticed that? I've talked to people and there are three weeks and there are different schools that have off in those three different weeks. My wife was off last week. My son is off this week. And then I was talking to somebody else and their kid is off next week. <laughs> so is each county different? Does that mean Palm Beach County is all of Palm Beach County's off. Palm Beach pu- public. So you got public, then you got private. So the counties do it differently, and then the public versus private do it differently. So that's why you've got, you know, three kids with three different schedules in three different weeks. So it's it's chaos. Who and who's the right one? The public or the private? To me, I say who who serves the better lunch. I guess whoever's taken off. Now I told my wife it made sense to kind of group it all in with Easter. And she said, don't bring that up to teachers because they would all hate you and they boo you out of the room because (laughs) they love the fact that they're having a spring break week and then they come back for about three days, depending upon what your schedule is like, because some Catholic 
they get Thursday and Friday off. I guess there's a Holy Thursday or something like that. Yeah, I, I think there's an Easter Monday too. Uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> it's so pretty sweet. They wind up getting two days out of the Easter holiday, so it's almost like uh, two spring breaks in a row. So I was oh, like, well, nice. just makes sense. Why don't you just tie that all together into one? She's like, don't tell teachers that. I, I'm, I'm feeling Easter Monday as well. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> hey, whatever we do to get a day off. Right? Any Monday off is a great day. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, we will let you know everything that uh, went on with us over the break. We'll get to all that stuff right now. We're dialed up right now. You can check us out on KVJ TV. It's easy to find. Just go to YouTube and look for the KVJ show. Just a young gun with a quick fuse. I was uptight. Want to let loose. I was dreaming of bigger things and want to leave my old life behind. Not a yes, sir. Not a follow up. Flip the box, flip the mold, have a seat in the foyer. Take a number. I was lightning before the thunder. Thunder, 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 feel the thunder, lightning and the thunder, thunder, feel the thunder. Lightning and the thunder, 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 thunder. thunder. Kids were laughing in my classes while I was scheming for the masses. Who do you think you are? Dreaming about being a big star. They say you're basic, they say you're easy. You're always riding in the backseat. Now I'm smiling from the stage while you were clapping. thinking about today jay bird so pretty much every one of my friends for the most part has kids and they they range from you know baby lachlan age up to you know 25 years of age but i'm talking about the little kids around your rocco's age and younger and here's some things that i've noticed and you tell me if you agree or is it just a subset of friends that i that i hang out with i don't think kids even know or like popeye is Popeye dead to kids? <laughs> yeah, I don't think a lot of them know about Popeye. Garfield, I feel like that's not one that they, they're really even jiving with. Yeah, you don't see Garfield mainstream anymore. And I, mm -hmm. and other people, you know, chat room, let me know if, if you agree. I mean, are, are these characters just dead? Don't, don't even bring these references up to, kid, to a kid. If I was to bring up the Flintstones to Rocco, does he even know what I'm talking about? I think he knows the Flintstones. Okay. But Garfield, no. So out of the three, Popeye, Flintstones, Garfield, we're, we're thinking... Flintstones is the coolest out of that group. Definitely. Okay. I've noticed with snacks, 
I don't think kids like alphabet soup anymore. Is that a thing? I just think there's so many choices. Like back when we were kids, there just weren't a lot of choices. Now there's like a million different kid brands and, and choices for kids. I just try spelling words in it. It was fun. You know, always try to spell a bad word with the soup. <laughs> uh, and then for hobbies, do kids make jewelry? And do things like, I remember being a kid, my sister's always making me make necklaces with them. They're always oh, making yeah. stuff yeah, out of, you got oh, the Taylor Swift friendship bracelet. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. still big. Mm -hmm. What about creative writing? Do kids sit down and write stories for, for the smell of it? Just for fun? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if kids did that when I was a kid. <laughs> they have to do it at school. Yeah. Rocco comes home with little stories that he wrote all the time. The teacher makes them, you know, gives them like, here's your subject now, write a story, and they have to use their imagination. I, I feel like some kids did like doing that when they were little, writing little creative stories. Not for school. Mm, right. All right, so kids are still doing that. I just want to make sure I'm in the, the know. Hey, kids, let's talk about Garfield. What? Yeah. Definitely. We Might definitely get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you got in your mind today, Virginia? So I brought back presents from my trip. Are you wanting some goodies? Always. Okay, let's see here. I got for you, Jaybird. Alphabet soup. <laughs> There's this restaurant called Hattie B's, famous for their hot. Nashville hot chicken, but I know you don't yeah. like spicy. Okay. So instead of bringing you spicy chicken, I brought you their world famous mac and cheese. Ooh. Okay. Look at yes. that. And their world famous honey mustard oh, sauce. Okay. Kev never had this before. Very excited. And I got you a Dolly Parton t shirt. I mean, it says, I beg your pardon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> got my shirt for tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. There Kevin, you go. I got you a delicious Southern Bloody Mary mix. Ooh, and okay. they actually, it's made with like uh, all kinds of sauces that they store in bourbon barrels. How about that? That's so, so yes, Southern. That is so Southern. Walkers. And then I brought some uh, little candy for your kid, for Cannon, if you want to bring back Oh, some. he loves candy. Yes. Yeah. Goo Goo Clusters, which are very popular okay. in that area of the country. Yeah. Goo Goo Clusters. Oh, Ooh. yeah. I remember those things. Those things are amazing. And uh, peanut butter cups. Oh, okay. Yeah. Those, yeah. That's the good stuff. Yeah, you will love all of that stuff. And I brought a, a bag full of goodies for the boys, too. Candies wow. and stuff. Okay, look yeah. at you. The stuff you got for Canon is such amazing teenage snacks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that Goo Goo Cluster, man, I remember those things. They're they're great. They're, this is pecan, but it's got pecan, caramel, and nugget covered in milk chocolate. It's like one of those little turtles. Oh, yeah. It yeah. Is. Oh, that's good stuff. Now, have you ever had a dream that you thought might be talking to you. Is yes. it a premonition or is it just your subconscious? Cause we he have heard that that's what it is. Or have you ever had something from one of your dreams come true? Now I saw my daughter, Caitlin, before she uh, left on her latest excursion, she had one of those little window hammers that was laying on our counter at my house. Have you ever seen those things or to bash out your window? Yes. If you ever go into water and if you're not from South Florida, you're like, why would you have that? Well, one thing that happens all the time here is people drive into canals or rivers or bodies of water because it's all over the place. Their car submerges and they can't get out. And a lot of times my wife said, well, why would you even need that? I said, because I hear your electrical system shorts out when it hits the water and the windows won't roll down. So you can't get them down. It's not like you're underwater and you just hit your window down and it comes down and you swim out of your car. <laughs> right. That ain't happening. So a lot of times people try to bust those windows and they can't. So it's kind of a little, like a little ball peen hammer. It's got a sharp metal point on it. You go psh, and you kind of smash it. And I'd seen that on the counter. It registered it in my subconscious. And then I never have bad dreams. I, it's very rare I have a nightmare. But man, I have one that woke me up yesterday morning. My wife, who can see about as well as Mr. Magoo, <laughs> was driving us across a tile bridge 
It had railroad ties. And she somehow got the wheels caught up in the railroad ties. That It was an odd bridge. We go careening backwards. We fall into water. My whole family is in the car. Oh, and no. We sink so fast. And, I'm, and I woke up like that. I couldn't breathe. I was like, oh, my gosh, what a terrible dream. And then I go right to my laptop, check on the news as I wake up. First two stories are people that died this last week by submerged vehicles. Oh, boy. I'm like, what is that? Is this some kind of premonition? Is it some kind of message? Because I told my wife this and she's like, ah, she's like, I could break out the window. I'm like, I don't know. I, I just, but then I wonder how hard would it be? Because I look at what is going on in my wife's glove compartment. And that thing's booby trapped. You open it and things just start. It, it's yeah. You ever seen where the comedians you open up that can and snakes come flying out? Yes. That's what her glove compartment is like. So I was only thinking that if that happened and we started to submerge and you open her glove compartment, so many things are going to fly out of it. I, good luck finding that little hammer to bash out your windows. Yeah. Th there's a whole tutorial on what to do. And I remember I watched it and then I forgot it. I, I have no idea. Yeah. Th there's a certain, there's a certain way and a certain spot you're supposed to hit all right. kind of stuff. So now I've got a new massive phobia because it's so ingrained. It was such a terrible dream. And I woke up in such a, <gasps> That now every time that she's going to be driving and we're going to be by any body of water, I'm going to be right there hovering at the wheel. Just keep that thing in your pocket. <laughs> Carry that thing, that little hammer in your pocket. I'm wondering how many people have one of those things in their car in a place where let's say you really did go into water. I don't know how fast a, a car sinks and it might depend upon many different factors as to how quickly it would go down. But how much time do you have? How good would any of us be at getting out? Because these stories, nobody seems to hardly ever make it out. That's a good question because you would think, all right, you know you're in water. Your first instinct is to get out immediately, yeah. but nobody seems to be able to do it. So it must fill up pretty quickly. Well, I think what happens, first off, you're in the water and you can't open the door because of the water pressure. So it's pushing back on you. So you can't open your door. You try to get the windows. They won't roll down. And you're sitting there thinking, okay, what am I going to do? And people probably start hitting the windows. And what kind of strength do you have to have? They're not easy to bust. I've hit windows. I remember one time that I had to actually get into a car and we took a cinder block and threw it off the window and it bounced off. <laughs> oh, no. So that'll kind of let you know just how tough it can be to sometimes break through these windows. And I think there's a certain point of time where you're kind of screwed. Yeah. If you wait too long, it, it, your chances of getting out is very slim. That's just what I'm wondering. How long do you actually have and how many people in South Florida are actually prepared for this? Well, ever since I started watching that one show on YouTube, Adventures with Purpose, they go out and they find all these cars. There's so many stories of these. I know. Yeah. It, it's not an uncommon occurrence, which I think most of us believe it is. But after I had that dream, I get up and the first two stories are people that uh, ran into bodies of water and died in their car. And the one thing I found out was it, people will go, why, why did the police stop looking for these cars? And they don't have the fundage. They, they'll they they'll mm -hmm. do it for the first month. Month, but then they they can't afford to keep searching for something so a lot of times what happens are people that just don't come home from work or wherever they were and they have no idea where they are and because they drive like 15 miles yeah and they could be anywhere in those 15 miles so you think about how many bodies of water if you live in south florida are between where any real destination is and where you're going home already for me i live just a few miles from the radio station, I'd already go by two or three different bodies of water oh, where I could be. I'll trust myself around a puddle. Yeah. Th <laughs> that's another thing that's scary is uh, the floods. When you're on the road, all of a sudden your car can stall out and water can start to rise. Yeah. And it, it, there's, there's Absolutely, a situation yeah. where you can't get out of that either. And it's oh, kind of the same thing. Oh, right. Yeah. No, we've got that with uh, King Tides and everything else going on here. So yeah, I just wonder how many people feel like they would be prepared and they would get out of their car if they went up in a body of water. Then it kind of just makes you think, what other scenarios in life are you not prepared for? Oh, I know. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> not prepared for anything. It's crazy. Dead by Easter. I mean. Mm -hmm. um, Derek said they do have a mini life hammer for keychains that you can't lose. That might be something to look at. And if you've got somebody that lives in South Florida, especially if they're a 
Kind of a sketchy driver. You might want to get him one. <laughs> and a mini hammer. Come on. That's a good little weapon, too. You're right. Could be. Absolutely. So anybody got uh, any thoughts on that, on how you do it? You can uh, let us know. 877-979-WRMF. One person texted in and said, yeah, I've got one in each door pocket of the car. And mine will also cut the seatbelt. I didn't even think about that. Oh, See, I wonder what if that, you couldn't get your seatbelt off. I wonder if that person that just texted in, are they like that with every avenue of their life? Are they prepared for every little thing? Or is it just this one thing that haunts you and scares you? Right. Yeah. See, and what's tough in my life is I want to be prepared for everything and my wife doesn't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that gives me so much anxiety that she's like, yeah, you'll be fine. Kevin buys that little emergency hammer and she throws it out. She will. <laughs> she would be so angry if she saw me with an emergency hammer. She probably would throw it out. Yeah, you'd be fine. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> Somebody said you got to wait for the pressure to be even, then you just open the door. Oh, that oh, sounds. Yeah, that sounds very easy to do. <laughs> how also, when you're panicking. Jaybird, how calm would you be if <laughs> your truck is now in the middle of a canal and it's sinking and you realize it's going to go to the bottom? Dude, a mama duck attacked me in the public's parking lot and I didn't know what to do. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on now. So, yeah. So, if you've never heard of that, you don't know what it's all about. Something to definitely be aware of. All right. Coming up here in a couple of minutes, we had a little spring breakage and we had uh, lots of fun activities. In fact, uh, we caught up with you pretty much every single day. We did a little ATS. So, you know, some of the things that we were up to. But there were a few other things that uh, maybe you did not hear. So, what didn't happen to Jaybird over our spring break? Did he get heckled? Leaving the baseball stadium by a shirtless guy with a beer belly. Did he get bit by a spider? Did he accidentally wash a can of Mountain Dew in his washer? Oh, no. <laughs> that sounds terribly messy. Okay, that could be rough. Uh, did he have an impromptu garage sale where a woman cried about her deceased cat? Okay, or did he send away for his... DNA on one of those genealogy tests. So you sent away for one of the kits for did a genealogy I, test. Allegedly, did I take the saliva and send it in and waiting for results? Allegedly. Okay. All right. So which one of these things did not happen to Jaybird over our break? You will find out next. The KDJ Show on 97.9 WRMS. Rapids Water Park. Mega Thrills. Mega Fun. And coming later this spring, new Mega Mayhem, the first dueling water coaster in Florida. Visit now for spring break and come back for Mega Mayhem with a season pass. Save 45% and get a free souvenir cup now through April 3rd. Only at South Florida's Mega Thrill Capital, Rapids Water Park. It's Mega 2024. I have a secret. Uh -huh. I use secret whole body deodorant because more than just my armpit stink. Uh -huh. Can I use it where my bra rubs under my... Oh, <laughs> yeah. And what about down there? You know, my... Totally. Four out of five gynecologists would recommend it. So I tried it and now I get 72 hours of freshness, freshness. from my pits to my... Ooh, I love that it's a spray. Me too. And it comes in sticks and creams too. Go get your secret whole body deodorant. Now, during Staples Print Big Sale, get $20 off your print purchase of $100 or more, $50 off your print purchase of $200 or more, and $100 off your print purchase of $300 or more. So the more you print at Staples, the more you save. To demonstrate, print, print, print at Staples, you save, save, save. But if you print, 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 print at Staples, you save, 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 save. See how that works. Staples Print Big Sale. Print more, save more. Up to $100. Ends for six. Visit staples.com slash print for details. At Charmin, we heard you shouldn't talk about going to the bathroom in public, so we decided to sing about it. When you roll the Charmin, don't you stop on the party. This is more, so roll it back, everybody. Charmin's irresistibly soft and heavy nice. The grip is always soft. It's our party vibe. It's crushing everything, so it takes me to fly. So what if everybody wanna touch the sky? Sherman Ultra Soft is irresistibly soft and more absorbent, so you can use less. Enjoy the go with Sherman. We pay the max. Ah. We pay the max. Ah. We pay the max. Ah. Let auto buy pay you the max. You're on your way to 
big fat stacks. We pay the max. We pay the max. We pay the max. Get the max for your pre owned car, truck, or SUV. Go to WePayTheMax.com. Getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus a hundred bucks. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year, even if you filed online. Hewitt, yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep, guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. Z-O-O-M-T-A-N I was tan last summer, now I'm pale again I need a little bit of help to be ready for the beach Zoom tan puts the sun within my reach Brown as a biscuit for $9.99 ZoomTan.com for a limited time ZoomTan, $9.99 ZoomTan.com ZoomTan for a limited time ZoomTan all copper tans are now Zoom Tans. Go to zoomtan.com slash radio for $9.99 offer. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Last year, over 3 million people called Morgan & Morgan in their time of need. And with over a million of those calls coming from previous clients, friends, and family. My name is Rita Fowler. I was in the car actually relaxing. I was talking to my sister and all of a sudden, boom, the car hit us. I wound up actually having a stroke. And that's when I decided to call Morgan & Morgan. The whole operation, everything they did from day one, it was self-explanatory. It was text messages. It was emails. It was a no-brainer. When you think that hiring a lawyer is hard, you haven't called Morgan & Morgan. Thank you for trusting us. We've become the largest injury firm in the world because we've won a lot. The word is out. Size matters. Reputation matters. We're America's largest injury law firm for a reason. With over 900 dedicated attorneys and climbing, we're ready wherever you are, whatever you need. The choice is easy. We're just a phone call away. Injured? Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Ew. Gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Tell me why. Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why. I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products. Your floors can go from clean to dirty fast. From juice spills, whoops, to muddy paw prints, to little sticky finger marks. Good thing your Swiffer Wet Jet works fast too. Swiffer Wet Jet easily cleans everyday messes as quick as they happen. The next mess is right around the corner. So grab your Swiffer Wet Jet and just spray, push, all clean. If you're the victim of a car crash, never rush to settle with the insurance companies and never settle for just any attorney. Demand Anna Jar and Levine. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In office, West Palm Beach. They keep it real. The KVJ Show on 97.9 WRMF. All right, so which one of these things did not happen to Jaybird over our spring break that we just had? We uh, threw out the first pitch at Roger Dean Stadium on St. Patrick's Day. There is a video on social media if you would like to see that interesting occurrence. It is there for you. It is different. It is <laughs> different. No doubt about it. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people are like, what is going on here? I was, let's just say I was supposed to do the worm, and I don't know how to do the worm, Virginia, so it looked like I was doing something very offensive to the ground. But we know you don't know how to do the worm. We talked about it beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> we had the guys from Digital Vibes. They can do the worm. They came out. They tried to teach us how to do the worm. Some people just can't worm. Yeah. Well, I we tried. We, we, we put our 100% effort into learning the worm. The worm is hard. Well, I disagree. I did not put 100%. I think it's the problem. You have to put 100% effort. You have to practice that thing every day. So you have Thanks to respect yeah. the worm. We're I, don't quite think, there. I don't think my body moves like that. I, I know what you mean. 
Dean. <laughs> so did Jaber get heckled leaving Roger Dean Stadium by a shirtless guy with a beer belly? Did he get bitten by a spider? Did he accidentally put a can of Mountain Dew in his washing machine? Did he have an impromptu garage sale where a woman cried about her deceased cat? Or did he send his DNA away for one of those genealogy attests? So which didn't happen to him over the spring break, do you think, Virginia? Impromptu yard sale. That sounds very difficult to put together. Pretty involved. I agree. That, that would be one of them, I would think. I am uh, going to put down getting heckled. I'll say that didn't happen by a shirtless guy with a beer belly. Jaber, which of these things did not happen to you? I did get heckled by a shirtless guy with a beer belly. <laughs> what about? About the first pitch. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. What did you say? That you I suck. suck. Yeah, oh, that's amazing. Much. I mean, this guy was drunk, shirtless, completely. Like, are you allowed to be shirtless in the stadium? I guess you are. You can take off your shirt. I don't know. It, well, Try it next time you go, Virginia. <laughs> nobody was nobody was stopping this guy. I can tell you that much. So yes, that did that did happen. What did he say to you? You suck. <laughs> really? That was just it, huh? That's what you came up with the first pitch. What happened to the gi? I guess oh, he heard yeah. us talk about the gi. Oh, okay, yeah. the karate move. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everything kind of got uh, thrown out of whack because my son had football in Fort Lauderdale in the morning. And the previous Sunday, we were there till probably about three p.m. So I had to tell you guys on the ATS that we had this week. I don't think i'm going to be able to make it there's just probably no way and they played all three games in a row and i got out of there in enough time to drive from fort lauderdale to jupiter which to is make pretty it. impressive it is yeah i, I couldn't I, believe it i will say that there was a point where i didn't know if you were coming yeah i didn't all. know either. and then you i texted know. virginia or like at 8 30 and virginia's really good usually about texting back and i didn't hear from her for a few hours and i'm thinking i don't think this I don't think this witch is coming either. So <laughs> yeah. I, I started kind of throwing an audible in my head mm -hmm. and just decided to wear all green. Oh yeah, well it was St. Patty's Day. That was a good move. We just had to go with what we had at the moment. So yeah, I did you know? There's always next year, maybe. Yeah, I, I think so. I, I, well, when we got out there, what got me going was the uh, girl from Roger Dean was like, "Man, we were talking so much about what you guys did last year for the first pitch when we did the leapfrog." I was like, "Okay, this has got to be our new thing now. We can't just do a regular first pitch." At one point, me and Kevin were having a serious conversation about my dad throwing out the first pitch. But they were like, Wait, huh. That'd gonna... be confusing. <laughs> <laughs> it was confusing enough. Right. <laughs> How about the uh, impromptu garage sale? Did that happen? It did happen. It did? So what I did was I, I did spring cleaning and I took oh. out a bunch of stuff I did not want. It was taking up room and I, I set up a garage sale type of style in my driveway and I was going to go on social media and say, Hey, I'm having a garage sale. But I noticed I didn't even have to do that. People started walking up, knocking on my door, asking what I was doing. And I just started giving away so much of my stuff. I didn't even need to do a garage sale. Huh. It was pretty awesome. Okay. Wow. And so people got stuff. I didn't have to really do the whole permit kind of a thing, but it was set up like a garage sale kind of a thing. And yeah. I had some some stuff, some toys that I, you know, I had for Chewy that never quite got around to give to him. Mm. So I had that in a box and mm. somebody walked up and she started talking to her, her about her cat that passed away and she started tearing up, oh, started man. crying about that. And yeah. So that was Okay. Depressing. Yeah, that's that's rough. How about uh, getting bitten by a spider? Did that happen? I, I, I think it's a, it's either a spider or it's right there on on uh, KVJ TV. I'm not sure you can see it, but I was cleaning something outside in this area, and it led the league in spiders. And I felt something bite me on my arm, oh. but couldn't see what it was. Uh -huh. And I'm assuming that's a spider. V, you know about these things. Where? Right, right there. It's starting to heal. You could all, it was it was pretty bad about two days ago. It doesn't look like a spider. I think a spider bite gets worse. Okay, it was pretty bad about two days ago. It gets okay. all red it and then starts to spread, but it doesn't get better. It gets worse. Okay, mm. like it'd be bad today. I think if it was a spider, so you can't get bit by a spider and it can just kind of run, or it, it'll always get bad. I, if it's poisonous Based and if it's the, the kind, yeah, it's like one of those yeah. those brown recluse. Mm -hmm. I think you have to go and get it looked at before it starts to get really bad, or you could like lose part of your flesh. It's crazy, yeah. Because I know that those 
there's that one benign looking spider everybody has. They they almost kind of look like if you sneezed, it would just destroy the spider. Mm. It's very very dainty and skinny. Like granddaddy long legs. Yeah. yeah. If that bites you, is that no. do you get sick or is that just no? Of course, it, you're there's fine. only a few spiders you got to worry about. Uh, you accidentally put a can of Mountain Dew in your washer. No, that's the thing that did not happen. Oh, good. Okay. That's good. Good. All right. So that didn't happen. And uh, what are you sending away your DNA for on those genealogy tests? There's a rumor that I'm not as Italian as one may think. And it's coming from up north, Rhode Island style. And really? it's, it's something that was drama that was caused even with aunt and being alive well this would explain why you're such a bad italian because you're not really that <laughs> you're not, italian you're not now would this be not italian at all or That's, just it comes italian. back that he's like polish kevin yeah. there's a lot of stuff out there right now and i remember Whoa. Anne being very upset about this and people wanting her to take one of them genealogy tests right, and she's like, okay. i'm not doing that i'm not taking that uh -oh. but there's no way my aunt Anne wasn't italian why do you say that? She just was. She was Italian because of features, well, skin tone, everything. I was told yeah. and all the stories of, of their ancestors mm -hmm. from from the old country. It doesn't make. It wouldn't but make sense. Could you be raised in Italian culture and then it just sticks? Unless they were, they were lied to themselves. You were like Olive Garden, fake Italian. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we're trying to figure it all out. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what Whoa. a bombshell, right? Everything we knew, we have to unknow. <laughs> could you imagine if I did come back and I'm not Italian at <laughs> all? Zero percent Italian. <laughs> That's. That would that that kind of well, it would my explain mind. a lot. It would, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been living a lie. That is amazing. How about that? When will you get the results back? I don't know. My sister's got the information because I was reluctant to do it. Yeah. Okay. I didn't want to do it. I was kind of like on Anne. I'm like, I don't, I don't want to know. So you uh, gave in the tests have been submitted, and then at some point you'll get it back, and then you'll get the answer one way or the other. Yeah. Wow. Okay. It's pretty bold. I, I think I got mine like in a matter of like three weeks. I did it like, I don't know, eight years ago. It's been a while. But mine was surprising too. I, I was always told I was so Irish from my dad's side. And then it came back that we were like Scottish, English, and a little Irish, but like more English. Well, there's someone else. <laughs> I'm mm. trying to be respectful. So someone else I know is very close to me that did it, and they were so mad at the results to the point they go, "This is it's rigged. This is fake." And they, they finally had, they finally had to kind of come to <laughs> the realization they, that yeah, they, they were who they always thought they were. They had to accept it. Dang. I know. Whoa. But we all agree those things are accurate. I don't know the. I, I don't know either. Yeah, I don't know what the. I don't agree anything. Consensus is on that. I, I don't trust anyone. I would like to mm -hmm. know people that 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 have taken it and go. I don't know, Bird. I don't trust it at all. To see how accurate it really is. Well, I'd like to do this. I'd like to take it from Ancestry dot com, twenty three and Me, whatever other company. Like do them all. And see if they all say the same thing. If they don't all say the same thing, then mm. it makes me think that it's not an exact science. Well, if it's not the same thing, that, then it would show you it is a scam. 23andMe claims that they're right about 99% accurate. Wow. It's big balls there. But that's coming from them. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I say that about KVJ, too. <laughs> you should. <laughs> Good heavens. <laughs> I do want to know the horror stories of people that have sent in their tests and it, it comes back. They go, who am I? I don't know who I oh, am. I was re I was watching. I fell down a TikTok, a TikTok wormhole one time of people that got 23andMe results back and it wasn't what they thought it was going to be. There was this kid that was raised German. <laughs> he had Lederhosen. He had the outfits, loved all the food, Oktoberfest, all of it. Like so German, German, German. German came back wasn't a lick of German and he was just Whoa. like head in his hands like wow. couldn't understand yeah. it like right. what now, like, are you still he lived the German life at that point yeah. are you still a lot of are, can you identify as German at that point to me I don't know I, then you're a fraud and you know it I think there are people that have the blood and then there are people that were raised in the culture and so you can appreciate the culture I don't know how 
I, I think to be truly authentic, you have to have the bloodline. But I think there are a lot of people that were that way, especially there are a lot of Jewish people that, you know, I mean, the Jews were scattered all over the world. And so how many different cultures do they have that they were assimilated into? I mean, at the end of the day, I, I will think it's it's pretty funny. <laughs> My entire life, I've been thinking one thing. Be something. It, it I remember you thought you were a big part Native American, too. I know. What if that comes back? There's no Native well, American. Maybe that's some of the stuff that came back with somebody and they they came back they had zero <laughs> and they were raised to believe they had like 15 percent wow <laughs> yeah okay. the lies <laughs> our lineage has told us they took it a little hard yeah <laughs> All right. Well, you've got a March Madness that is going on. They did the brackets on Sunday night. A lot of people were wasting a lot of good work time filling those things out, doing little office pools and doing some gambling. The FAU Fight Nows, they made it back in where they made it to the Final Four last year. They're going to be playing on Friday at 1215. So we've got our own bracket coming up. Last year, we did all things awesome. It was things like smiles and puppy dogs, pizza, money, all those kind of good things that you just love. I think Christmas was in there. So this year we're doing all things awful. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to tell you, we have about 12 things at least we need to fill out our bracket of 64. So I'll let you know what we have so far. You can help us fill out the rest. I'll tell you how next. If you don't want to see. Thinking about the way I was Did the heartbreak change me? Maybe But look at where I ended up I'm all good already So moved on, it's scary I'm not where you left me at all So If you don't wanna see me Dancing with somebody If you hope to believe that anything can stop me Don't show up, don't come out Don't start caring about me now Walk away, you know how Don't start caring about me now Aren't you the guy who tried to hurt me with the word goodbye Though it took I'm better on the other side I'm all good already So moved on, it's scary I'm not where you left me at all So, if you don't wanna see me Dancing with somebody If you hope to believe that Anything can stop me Don't show up don't come out, don't start caring about me now Walk away, you know how Don't start caring about me now I know a lot of people are going to be wasting time filling out their brackets. It's just something that we now always do in our family. And I got to show out this year, Virginia, because I have lost like the last two or three years. I've come in behind grandma. Oh, no. It's just, it's just bad. <laughs> grandma just picks based on colors of their uniform. She does. She has no idea who's <laughs> in it. And it is a major 
point of ridicule in my family. I'm getting just hounded to no end. Well, because you take things like this serious and you do the research and you look at the numbers and the stats. I'm the only one who did. <laughs> and every year when I do that, I do terrible. So this year I kind of went from the gut. I just went with a few hunches and I'll see if I do better. We'll see. Thank God I don't put any money on this kind of stuff because I know a lot of people do. They say that uh, <laughs> Americans are going to legally wager $2.72 billion on March Madness this year. Ooh. Oh, I know. Even people who don't like basketball get involved. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they do. It's just everybody goes into it because it's just kind of a fun thing because you're right. A lot of it is just a coin flip. There are so many upsets. You don't know how these college kids are going to do. I, I remember even that at the dog track, people would research the dogs and all that. And I would just go, I'm picking the one that just pooped. Yeah, right. <laughs> or lighter. Ready to go. That's how you do for the uh, March Madness. Which team poops before the game? <laughs> That's who we should pick to win for all of our games. Which show member just pooped the most recently? <laughs> I wish you could get that in NFL games. Right? <laughs> yeah. What team pooped? Did Tom close? Brady just take a dump? I want to know that. He's going to move lighter. I'm yeah, sorry. He's, he's I definitely, the, the wide receiver that just pooped is going to be faster. Yeah, he is. You want to know those kind of things. So those are the kind of betting stats we need. Well, number eight seed FAU, Florida Atlantic out of Boca Raton is going to be playing number nine seed Northwestern Friday at 12, 15 p.m. Very excited for that. That's going to be fun. Great day to skip out of work and go watch them fight nows, go get their first victory in the tournament. Will that be on TV? Yes, it will. Absolutely. Yeah, you'll be able to uh, watch that. So with March Madness going on, we are going to be putting together our own bracket that is going to be dropping tomorrow. Last year, we did All Things Awesome. So this year, we're doing All Things Awful. We're looking for 64 of the worst <laughs> things in life. I'm anxious to see what the good people put down. Because you said <laughs> that we, we have some blank spaces available. We do. It looks like we need right now about uh, 14 more and I do need to check because we posted this last night on our KBJ show Facebook page and we got some really good ideas and then we got to figure out you know which are the worst because you got to see them properly but here I am kind of starting a little bit at the top this is what we have so far and this is just a working list number one we got cancer I mean, that's pretty awful, right? It's pretty strong. It's, it's pretty good, strong. It feels like a number one seed, doesn't it's it? It's a good argument for a number one seed. Yeah, we have traffic People don't like traffic. We've got diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty awful. There's a lot of people that thoroughly enjoy diarrhea. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> We've got hackers up there. We have taxes, STDs, arguing politics, and kidney stones. Oh, those are all good. Do we, do we have murder on there? Don't know if murder's made it yet. I mean, I think you got to put murder on there, no? Murder's a good one. Okay, murder. Yeah, we can add murder in there, no doubt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, to me, that yeah. might win. Uh -huh. uh, I see murder and cancer going head to head in the finals. Okay, <laughs> it could be. We have things like mosquitoes okay. on the list, gynecological exams, slow drivers, car insurance, sunburns, and menstruation. <laughs> it's the IRS on there. Well, we have taxes. taxes. Okay, all right, you're right, you're right. My yeah, bad. so I think we'll go with that. We also have infidelity, back pain, ooh, rent, mold, and the black eyed peas. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I didn't send that one. <laughs> Other things on our all things awful bracket, we have flight delays, hangovers, hurricanes, and dog farts. <laughs> Gas prices, jury duty, Bed bugs, toothaches, hidden fees, and rough toilet paper. <laughs> Those are all, I mean, <laughs> all things are pretty awful. Yeah. We have cockroaches, wet socks, black jelly beans, and kid barf. <laughs> all pretty awful things. The Kardashians, in laws, and jock itch. Solid list, man. Okay. That's just some of the things that we have. We need about 14 more submissions. You can go to our Facebook page or even text them in right now. We're going to drop that tomorrow. You're going to be able to start voting on your paired out favorites in our All Things Awful bracket. Well, coming up here today, there's a lot of TV stuff. I believe the Bachelor finale went down last night. Yeah, I fell asleep while watching the women tell all. Okay. And boy, were these women going 
going at it. I was loving it. Okay, was it was it good? Was it a good episode? Are you it liking was, this season? It was a great episode. I didn't watch a lot of it, but boy, that Joey is super cute. I did want to see how it all ended, and then I fell asleep. Damn. Yeah. Okay. That's tough. I uh, will tell you too. We also have a brand new show about Palm Beach that is dropping today. If you don't know about that, I'll let you know. And we have a Palm Beacher that is crushing it on The Voice. We'll tell you about next. From the WRM at Anna Jaron Levine Accident Attorneys Traffic Center. If you've been in an accident, call the law offices of Anna Jaron Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Storm Smart provides homeowners with Storm Catcher Screens, the leading hurricane safety product on the market. Storm Smart Screens block up to 95% of rain and wind. Call 833 60Smart or go to stormsmart.com for your free consultation. At the moment, no major incidents being reported on your roadways. 95 and the Turnpike up to speed for the most part throughout Broward and Palm Beach counties. That's traffic. I'm Suits for 97.9 WRMF. You know, the world today is full of all kinds of different side hustles. Everything from working at the rodeo to being a stuntman, wrestling gators, even farming worms. Yes, it is a thing, but there's an easier way to save money. You can do it with Xfinity Mobile. And existing customers can learn how to get a free unlimited intro line for one year when they buy one unlimited line. Not only are you going to save hundreds, but you're also going to be joining millions who have connected to America's most reliable 5G network. And now through March 31st, you can save even more. And you can ask how you can get a 5G phone right there on Xfinity. Now that is solid financial advice. And all you have to do today to get this amazing deal. Free unlimited line offer ends March 21st. Restrictions apply. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. Reduce speeds after 20 gigabytes of usage per line. Data thresholds may vary. Xfinity Mobile utilizes the network with the highest root metrics, 5G reliability rankings, and 2H23. Wi-Fi not tested. Results may vary. Wouldn't it be great if you always got extra, extra pizza, extra money, extra kittens? Fox 29 actually gives you extra, for real, extra sleep every morning, two hours to be exact. The Fox 29 Morning News is your only local news from 7 to 9 a.m., so sleep a little later. Then prepare for your day and know what's coming your way. The Fox 29 Morning News, your only local news from 7 to 9 a.m., Fox 29. We've got you covered. You call that a precision stop? When a rookie stunt driver, just give me a shot, meets the trainer who thought he'd seen it all. Come on, focus. They'll soon find out that behind the wheel of the Nissan Rogue, with the power of VC turbo and the most fuel-efficient gas-powered engine in its class, watch this. The protege can become a master. But this is no ordinary blockbuster. It's a Nissan sales event ad. Level up your drive with 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Shop the Nissan sales event. Visit your local Nissan store and NissanUSA.com today. Auto Pacific segmentation excluding hybrids and electric vehicles. 2024 EPA fuel economy estimates from 28 city, 34 highway to 30 city, 37 highway for 2024 Nissan Rogue. Actual mileage may vary. For well qualified buyers, 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on new 2023 Rogue and dealer stock example, 60 months financing at 1748 per month per thousand finance. Actual down payment may vary. Subject to residency restrictions and in-mac credit approval. Not all buyers qualify. Dealer contribution may affect actual price set by dealer. Contact dealer for details. Ends 4 one twenty four. Hamilton is coming. Get tickets today for the Tony, Olivier, Grammy, and Pulitzer Prize winning musical. It's the story of America then, told by America. Now, Hamilton in West Palm Beach at the Kravis Center from April 10th to 21st. Get tickets at Kravis.org. Dung Kings, iced coffee with a French vanilla swirl, vanilla shot, sweet cold foam, and cinnamon sugar topping. America runs on Duncan. Price and participation may vary. Limited time offer. We are proud of our parents. Want to know why? Because they work for the school district of Palm Beach County. There's lots of great jobs. With paid vacation, holidays off, health care, and retirement. You can be in the same schedule as your kids. Come work at the school district of Palm Beach County. You'll see why it's your best choice. Join us at the Team Palm Beach Schools Job Fair. Register at palmbeachschools.org slash job fair. That's palmbeachschools.org slash job fair. 
Hey, it's Kevin here from the KBJ Show, and I want to tell you about this revolutionary weight loss medicine called Revolex. It is proven to work. Now, you've probably heard about semaglutide with all the celebrity buzz. It's an FDA-approved drug for weight loss, but nobody offers it like Red Mountain Weight Loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss includes full-strength semaglutide with their Revolex. But Revolex is half the price of other semaglutide medications. It comes in a full-strength daily tablet, so there's no needles, just results. Get with Revolex and get started on losing up to 15 pounds per month. Imagine shrinking your belly, hips, and thighs, all while eating a wide variety of foods like cheese, nuts, bacon, coffee creamer, dark chocolate, and even alcohol. Red Mountain Weight Loss offers one-on-one support from medical experts so you can ensure and maintain your weight loss for life. It's available only by prescription, and you can only get it at Red Mountain Weight Loss. Dial pound 250 from your phone and use the keyword Red Mountain Weight Loss. That's pound 250, keyword Red Mountain Weight Loss. Injured? Visit Lattle Rider Smith Ivy in Fronrath at fouryourrights.com. South Florida weather is 15 seconds away from the H. Gregg West Palm Beach Weather Center. Get ready for March Madness at hgregg.com on Military Trail. Score big savings with a slam dunk selection of pre-owned vehicles. They've got a lineup that'll make you feel like a champion on the road. hgregg.com, where every drive is a victory lap. Save more, drive happy. Rainy and a cloudy start to Tuesday as the cool front is still moving through. That's why we're dealing with this kind of weather. But more sunshine does return this afternoon. Temperatures this morning, upper 60s, low 70s. And then by this afternoon, staying cool with a high of 72 and a windy north wind. I'm WPTV First Alert Meteorologist Jennifer Correa on 97.9 WRMAP. This report is sponsored by Snyder, serving Florida families for over 50 years. Snyder has landed in South Florida with top-rated AC expertise just in time to beat the South Florida heat. Ready for a shocking twist? Snyder's also got plumbing and electrical expertise. That's right, when you need a home hero, Snyder's a full-service, one-stop shop, ready to answer any call. What you need to know on the KVJ Show. Well, if you're not, you can be watching the KVJ Show right now on YouTube. Dial it up. On YouTube, just look for the KBJ Show or go to kbjshow.tv. The Bachelor finale last night. They usually stretch this out over a couple nights, though, don't they, Virginia? Before he finally picks who his true love is going to be. Yeah, they usually do stretch and stretch and stretch. Okay, I know Joey was choosing between, was it Rachel, Kelsey, and Daisy? Yes. And we don't have any more South Florida girls left. I believe. I think they're all gone. Magnolia told me she was pulling for Daisy. Daisy, okay. So I was like, all right, let me see what this Daisy girl has going on. Okay. Well, we'll find out here very soon what's going on with The Bachelor. We do have a lot of South Florida people that are on The Voice this year. That was on last night, going to be on again tonight. We had two that we found out about earlier one that grew up in Boynton Beach and another one that grew up in Wellington they both moved but there's a girl that still lives in South Florida that crushed it uh, last week her name is Serenity Arce she lives in Jupiter Florida and I don't really watch the voice but I guess it's very rare if all of the judges spin that chair around to take a look oh. and all four of them did when she was performing this city here is Serenity she got a hold on me she got me wrapped around a finger oh, oh. Okay, listen to that, huh? Pretty impressive. Beautiful. Yeah. Here's what the uh, judges had to say about her performance. What's your name? I'm Serenity RC. I'm 16 years old and I'm from Jupiter, Florida. Wow. 16, my lord. Hi, Serenity. Hi. You look familiar. I was here for season 21 when I was 14. Oh, my gosh. He came back. I'm so proud of you for coming back here. Thank you. Because all of us have had people tell us no, and we had to come back and say, no, we're going to try again. And that's how we got to where we are. And I'm so proud of you for doing that. Thank you. There you go, Serenity RC. That's why when anyone judges a, a kid's or a teenager's voice on mm -hmm. something, 
their voice is changing. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's constantly changing. Yeah, it's true. It's a good lesson. If you're doing one of those things, yeah. If maybe not now, maybe later. So stay at it. Keep going. Well, 14. 14 is so young. Yeah. You're, you're still developing. I mean, your voice is right. changing. Yeah. So congratulations. Hopefully she makes a very strong run on The Voice. We've already had a South Florida winner on that show before. So let's see if we get another one. And there are a couple of shows. I don't know what is going on, man. A lot of stuff about uh, Palm Beach. The full seven-episode season of Apples Never Fall debuted on Peacock on Thursday. I don't know if anybody's seen this. The series star is Sam Neill. You might remember him from Jurassic Park. He was oh, the yeah. lead in that movie. He's been in a lot of other productions as well. And Annette Benning is also in this as well. The show is set in Palm Beach, but they had to film the series in Queensland, Australia. <laughs> Okay. They wanted to film in Palm Beach, but the town council's like, yeah, no, we don't do that here. Yeah, you're not shutting down the town. That's not what we do. We're rich people. We don't need that. In fact, they basically said, we don't want the publicity. This isn't a town for everybody. And that will make them make 10 more shows about Palm Beach. Uh, right. Because that's <laughs> the way they do it. In fact, uh, the council member, Ted Cooney, he said, yeah, visitors are overwhelming our quiet little town. As much as I love the movies and I know our town would be a beautiful setting for any sort of filming, we're on the map more than we want to be. Wow. We're on the map more than we want to be. Palm Beach does not want to be known by the outside <laughs> world. He said, I think most residents are asking all of us for quiet and less interruption. So so they know none of the residents would want this. They don't want to be like, hey, cool, man. Look, my town is in the movie or a TV show. They're not impressed They're by not impressed. Hollywood on Palm Beach. It's yeah. a little bit of a snooty response. <laughs> we don't have to it's it's, it's yeah. so Palm Beach is what I love about it. That is so Palm Beach. They were going to have Annette Benning's character. She was going to ride past some of those houses along Ocean, which are absolutely amazing. My wife and I, that's part of our walk. Uh, they were going to have her go by the clock tower on Worth Avenue, which is breathtaking. People are always taking photos out there on a Saturday morning. She's going to go down State Road A1A near the Colony Hotel and along South Lake Drive along the docks and then across the Royal Park Bridge into West Palm Beach. And I was talking to a guy yesterday. He said, yeah, I got to see the first episode. He said, pretty much what they show is West Palm Beach because they wouldn't let him show Palm Beach. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. They're just like, no, no. We're good. Yeah, you're not going to film over here. You got to do your show about Palm Beach without Palm Beach. Yeah. Let's say you, you did film a movie in West Palm Beach. Does Is that good for the economy or does that shut things down? And it, it makes it kind of tough for some local businesses businesses is it, is it good or bad it's challenging i mean they just did bad boys in fort lauderdale they did a lot of filming in brickle and you know they shut down for that but i think ultimately it's it's good because people see it and it helps drive travel and tourism where you want a lot of people unless they're coming for spring break so <laughs> you but know they're gonna look at that show and go oh palm beach is beautiful well actually australia is beautiful yeah that's that's pretty <laughs> much what you're seeing yeah that's the whole thing um, so they do kind of work in Palm Beach County. The sheriff's office detectives are part of the investigation that is going on in this show. So they do have the theme of Palm Beach, but yeah, really none of it is filmed in Palm Beach. If you watch Apples Never Fall on Peacock. Now, the other show that is, I don't think, also going to feature Palm Beach, which is set in Palm Beach and all about Palm Beach and trying to get into the exclusive clubs that they have over there on the island. Palm Royale drops on Apple TV tomorrow. That's the one that has Ricky Martin in it, Kristen Wiig. That's a really good cast. Yeah, Ricky Martin looks so good. Yeah. So I'm pretty pumped about that one. So we'll see what happens with that. If you have seen the Apples Never Fall, you can let us know what you think about it. But hopefully maybe we'll see some stuff. But yeah, I thought that was kind of fascinating that if you're anticipating seeing a good bit of Palm Beach in any of these shows, apparently you're not because Palm Beach is like, yeah, you're not filming here. It'll be fake Palm Beach. <laughs> <laughs> not at all Palm Beach. Here's what's coming up on the Dirt of the Day. Dirt of the Day. Well, Elon Musk is talking about some pretty scary stuff. Did you realize that there have been two assassination attempts on him in just recent weeks? Oh, my gosh. 
He's talking details, and I'm going to share them with you coming up in your dirt. Entertainment updates five minutes after every hour from the KBJ Show on 97.9 WRMF. From the WRMF Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys Traffic Center. If you've been in an accident, call the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 FREE. That's 1 800 747 3733. Storm Smart provides homeowners with Storm Catcher Screens, the leading hurricane safety product on the market. Storm Smart Screens block up to 95% of rain and wind. Call 833-60-SMART or go to stormsmart.com for your free consultation. At the moment, no major incidents being reported on your roadways. 95 and the turnpike up to speed for the most part throughout Broward and Palm Beach counties. That's traffic. I'm Suits for 97.9 WRMF. Hey, West Palm Beach, looking for new ways to save? Well, on Verizon, you don't need to be on a family plan to get our best deals. For a limited time, plans start at just $55 a month for a single line on unlimited welcome with auto pay plus taxes and fees. That's a savings of $10 a month. Plus, get a select phone on us and a $100 Verizon gift card when you switch. There's never been a better time to switch to the network America relies on. This offer won't last long. Visit your local Verizon store to switch and save big today. Minimum $599.99 up to $659.99 device payment or full retail purchase with new smartphone line on unlimited welcome plan required. $100 Verizon e-gift card sent within 8 weeks with port in. Less up to $659.99 promo credit applied over 36 months. 0% APR. $360 local promo credit applied over 36 months for new customers with one new line. Additional terms apply. In select markets only. Auto pay and paper free billing required. For unlimited welcome plan in times of congestion, unlimited 5G and 4G LTE may be temporarily slower than other traffic. Domestic data roaming at 2G speeds. Z-O-O-M-T-A-N I was tan last summer, now I'm pale again I need a little bit of help to be ready for the beach Zoom tan puts the sun within my reach Brown as a biscuit for $9.99 ZoomTan.com for a limited time Zoom tan, $9.99 Zoom All copper tans are now Zoom tans. Go to zoomtan.com slash radio for $9.99 offer. We pay the max. Ah. We pay the max. Ah. We pay the max. Ah. Let auto buy pay you the max. You're on your way to big fat stacks. We pay the max. max, max, max. We pay the max. max, max, max. Pay the max. We pay the max. Get the max for your pre-owned car, truck, or SUV. Go to WePayTheMax.com. Every March, Jersey Mike's turns money from subs into charitable donations. And March 27th is Jersey Mike's annual day of giving, where 100% of sales from every sub are given back to the community. And to kick off all that giving, Peter gave me an apron. I'm honored. Looking good, Danny. We've got subs to make, though. Yeah. Now I know why you gave me the apron. <laughs> Join us Wednesday, March 27th for Jersey Mike's Day of Giving. Be a sub above. As a radio stuntman, I do all the extreme stuff in your favorite commercials. But the new Times the Cash Scratch-Offs are a new level of action packed. A thrilling multiplier feature, over 15 million prizes that multiply the winnings, and bonus play. They're the most extreme. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to jump this pit of hungry gates for no reason. New times to cash scratch-offs from the Florida Lottery. Must be 18 or older to play. Play responsibly. Hey, Florida, are you ready to meet Birch Lane? It's Megan, and I am so excited. The first ever Birch Lane stores are now open, where you can shop high-quality, classic furniture and decor in person. Don't miss the grand opening sales all month long. Plus, get expert help on home projects with free design services. It's classic style for joyful living. Shop Birch Lane, a Wayfair specialty brand at Meisner Park in Boca Raton and at birchlane.com. Now is the time to start thinking about summer camp for your child. And if you live in Palm Beach County, did you know more than 3,000 summer camp scholarships are available for children ages 5 through 17? Want to learn if your child may be eligible for a scholarship to cover all camp costs? Go to everyparentpbc.org forward slash camp. That's everyparentpbc.org forward slash camp. This message brought to you by Children's Services Council of Palm Beach County. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference. Call 1-800-747-FREE. 
Podcast from the Greenway Kia of West Palm Beach Studio. We want to see you in a Greenway Kia. This is 97.9 WRMF Palm Beach. It's the KVJ. Turn of the day. It's the KVJ. Turn of the day. Virginia, take it away. Because you know we need that. Turn of the day. Man, I guess this would be a thing that you would have to deal with if you are Elon Musk. Crazy people out there who think that you are speaking to them through their television or that you have done something to them. He's had to deal with this from a couple of, I guess, extreme schizophrenic people in the past few weeks. Both of them came to Texas to attempt to assassinate him with guns, two different cases. And luckily, I guess he has security measures in place. But how could you ever have every security measure in place? You know, right? just the thought that when you're going to get your mail, some dude might be waiting to shoot you in the head. is pretty mm. horrifying. That's the, that'd be the best time to get me. Cause you look in the mail, all of a sudden you get distracted by what's in the mail. You're not thinking, right? I guess one of the schizophrenic guys thought that, uh, Elon had embedded a Neuralink chip in his head. And so he was coming after Elon as revenge. Wow. Yeah. I mean, just there's mentally ill people out mm, there. It's yeah. real. And all it would take would be for one of them to get close enough and be able to yeah. do it. If I was Elon, I'd be pooping my pants. Also, would you be shocked if you found that Elon was putting chips in people's heads? I can see where somebody would think that, no doubt. I think he said he wanted to. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Yeah. He was looking for volunteers. Here is uh, Elon talking about that guy. One, one guy thought I'd put a chip in his head, um, you know, like a neural link wow. chip or something. And I'm like, which I think you you got to consider the logic of that. Well, the chip's obviously not working. If I was putting a chip in to call and control him, you know, it's clearly not working. So or would he like an upgrade? <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, it's Dang, Musk is taunting him? He's yes. mocking him? Oh my God. <laughs> He's a mocking him. He's pretty much called him stupid, Ooh. Sam. Oh, you can't do it that way. Yeah. If I put a chip in your head to control you, how are you here on your own free will to kill me? Like, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is certainly sad. Uh, you know, Kobe Bryant is no longer with us, but his parents, I guess, have ownership of his very first championship ring that he got back in 2000. I guess he gave it to his dad as a gift. And his dad, I guess, has fallen on hard times because his dad and mom are currently putting the ring up for auction. Oh, wow. A lot of people are on social media saying, oh, my gosh, this is terrible. Uh, Vanessa Bryant should buy it and then keep it in the family and keep it safe. And yeah. if, if she's got the money, I don't think I disagree with that. I think she's got the money. Didn't she win that lawsuit against the uh, police force out yeah, there? But people on social media act like they know every detail of people's lives. They don't know yeah. what's going on in, in between. Well, what if there's beef or something? There is beef. Yeah. Apparently, uh, Kobe Bryant's parents don't like Vanessa. And there was a lot of beef when they first got together and Kobe and Vanessa were dating. And the parents, his parents didn't even go to their wedding. So, Oh, wow. Well, there you go. Yeah, okay, well. there's definitely beef. Yeah. Okay. So that's likely not going to happen. And finally here, um, you don't hear about this very often, but I think this is something that um, adults that are struggling should definitely talk about. Uh, Bruce Willis's daughter, Tallulah, has just now, as an adult, been diagnosed with autism. I guess she has always felt a little off. There's always been struggles with mental and physical health. And she was dealing with this and dealing with that and didn't really understand how she wasn't getting better and her new diagnosis, I guess, has given her a more clear path now towards dealing with all the stuff that she's dealing with, uh, that she's had autism all this time, but went undiagnosed as a child. Mm -hmm. right. And that's what's going on in your dirt. I got some celebrities having a birthday today. Andy Reid, the Super Bowl winning head coach of the Kansas City Chiefs, turning 66 years old today. Bruce Willis is 69 today. Maybe that's why that story's out. Oh, maybe. Harvey Weinstein is 72 years old. Boy, what's his day like in prison? 
I think he's got 23 more, so <laughs> he could get out the age of 95, maybe. Is he in uh, Gen Pop? Does he walk around with other prisoners, or do they have him kind of He's alone? probably kind of in his own little world, I'd imagine. Quarantined off. But if they wanted to get to him, they could probably, right? I mean, they got to Epstein. <laughs> I yeah. think that's what... They, if they want to get to you, they get to you. Eventually, yeah. there's going to be a time where if they want to get you, they are waiting. For, what else are you going to do in prison other than think and plot? Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Glenn Close, the actress, is turning 77 years old today. Also, we got a birthday shout out to Austin turning nine from mommy, daddy, big sis, Sabrina and Suki. Karina sent that in. Happy ninth birthday to Stella from mommy and Scarlett. And uh, you've got their great photo right there on KBJ TV. Oh, beautiful. Also adorable. Happy 35th birthday to our beautiful girls, Caitlin and Megan from dad, Becky, Wes, Hayden and Jack. And there is their photo on KBJ TV. Also got a birthday shout out to Conka Mora from West Palm Beach, turning 45. Happy birthday to the best son in the world, David Pora. Love your sister, Olivia, mommy, daddy, Aunt Karina, and godmother, Delia. And there is Key getting ready to enjoy some cake. That looks like a very good cake. Delicious. Happy 10th birthday to Savvy. Best luck in the school spelling bee and soccer game today. That is from mom, dad, and Rhett. Ooh, spelling bee. That's that's a big one, Virginia. <laughs> and happy ninth birthday, Liam. Love mommy, daddy, and the fur babies, Meadow and Blue. Got a birthday, want to get a shout out? Send us an email, mail at kvjshow.com. M-A-I-L at kvjshow.com. Coming up here in a couple of minutes, I love the things that could have better names because you're right. There are some things that we have that just weren't named right, like jet skis. You're not really skiing, right? So why do you call it a jet ski? Wouldn't a better name be motorcycles? <laughs> motorcycles is fun. It kind of works out, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. There's a bunch <laughs> of things like this that could have better names. I'll let you know what coming up next here on the KBJ Show. For a while that it was rough, but lately I've been doing better than the last four cold Decembers I recall. And I see my family every month I found a girl my parents love She'll come and stay the night And I think I might have it all And I thank God every day For the girl he sent my way But I know the things he gives me He can take away and I hold you every night And that's a feeling I wanna get used to But there's no man as terrified As the man who stands to lose you Oh, I hope I don't lose you mm. Please stay I want you, I need you, oh God, don't take these beautiful things that I've got, please stay, I want you, I need you, oh God, don't take these beautiful things that I've got, Please don't take I found my mind, I'm feeling insane It's been a while, but I'm finding my faith If everything is good and it's great Why do I sit and wait till it's gone? Oh, I tell you, I know I've got enough I've got peace and I've got love but I'm up and I think and I just might lose it all Please stay I want you, I need you, oh God Don't take these beautiful things that I've got Please 
stay. I want you, I need you, oh God. I need these beautiful things that I've got. You know, when you come up with an invention, you spend so much time thinking of the concept, the design. I feel like a lot of times they just rush the name. And you really shouldn't because the name really is everything. And there are a lot of things that are just not properly named. Just a second ago, I mentioned the jet ski should be called motorcycles. <laughs> Because it does make a lot more sense, right? That skis. <laughs> it does look like a motorcycle. It is. It's kind of like a motorcycle on the water. It's part boat. It's part motorcycle. It should be a motorcycle. I thought this was a good one, too. Any bacon alternative should be called faking. It's fake bacon, right? Yeah. Why wouldn't you go with faking? I yeah. thought they had that. Faking is, is a thing. I know mm -hmm. they used to have a thing called sizzling. I'm not sure if that's still out there, but it was I a remember fake the bacon. Yeah. Or a healthy bacon of sorts. I think sizzling wasn't that um, kind of a steak. No, that was steak homes. Sizzling, I remember it being mm -hmm. some kind of alternative to bacon. A healthier bacon. Was it yeah. okay? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. The diet bacon. Diet bacon. Because <laughs> I remember my mom tried every what? diet thing. That's like, hey, why don't you have some diet cake? We what? had diet bacon. My, my my mom and Aunt Anne tried every diet thing possible. And that's why I know about that. That diet fago was big, which was <laughs> disgusting. Our mamas would have loved Ozempic. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Astronomers. Why are they not called scientists? Oh, I do like that. Scientists will look at the sky, right? Makes perfect sense. Instead of contractions, try calling them birthquakes. I see what they're doing. They're they're almost kind of like giving you like a little play on words, a little rhyming scheme. Well, it's thing. just they're always kind of there. And we do this anyway. We do this with celebrities. Don't we just kind of jam two words together? Yes. And it, it feels like they just really kind of missed the ball on some of these. I think we're a lot better. Dentures. This one's kind of tough to say. Maybe that's why it wouldn't work. But instead of calling them dentures, substitutes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. It's kind of tough to say. Substitutes. substitutes. <laughs> but if you can get it out. There's that lisp of mine again. <laughs> substitutes. Substitutes. Imagine if you're missing a tooth and you have a lisp and you try to say that. That's yeah. funny, though. Uh, do you like the term cereal sauce for milk? I do. I, that, I call shampoo hairdressing. So I get it. I think that'd be a brilliant thing. If you, especially when they do that flavored milk for some of the cereals. Yeah. Call it cereal sauce. Sure. That'd be a great brand name. Cereal sauce. You've already got me all perked up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, instead of olives, they should be known as Greece's pieces. Okay. They're from Greece typically. All right. I got you. All right. Mm. Hemorrhoids should be called asteroids. <laughs> 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 and one, this just doesn't make sense. If you know anything about Iceland and Greenland, you know that they're flipped. Greenland yeah. is icy and Iceland is green. What the heck, man? I feel like whoever was in charge of things back then, they did that just to be funny and confuse people. Yeah. And it is very confusing. If you don't know, then you should know. All right, coming up here in a couple of minutes, boy, we were just inundated with a bunch of emails while we were on our break. I'm going to try to get as many as I can today for Am I the Jerk? A lot of questions people are asking here, including one woman who wants to know if she is a jerk for setting a snooze ultimatum for her boyfriend. I'll let you know what that means next. From the WRMF Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys Traffic Center. If you've been in an accident, call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. StormSmart provides homeowners with Storm Catcher Screens, the leading hurricane safety product on the market. StormSmart Screens block up to 95% of rain and wind. Call 833-60-SMART or go to StormSmart.com for your free consultation. We have an accident causing delays this morning in Boca Raton on 95 southbound. This one is before the exit for Glades Road. Look for two right lanes blocked in the area and give yourself extra time there this morning. That's traffic. I'm Suits for 97.9 WRMF. My day just flows better when I make my first stop McDonald's. I can choose two of my faves and save big when I bundle a savory sausage McMuffin or flaky sausage biscuit with crispy hash browns for breakfast for $2.89. 
Or I can make Mickey D's my last stop. Lunch, dinner, a late night snack, perhaps. When I bundle a hot and spicy McChicken or juicy McDouble with delicious small fries for only $3.89. Now, my day is made. The tastiest way when I bundle and save at McDonald's. ba da ba 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 Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo. Valid when products served. When you're drinking a frozen beverage from McDonald's, your brain may not like how refreshingly cold it is, but the rest of your body, oh yes, it's gonna relish every moment of it because there are drinks. Then there are drinks from McDonald's. Try any size frozen drink like a frozen Fanta Blue Raspberry or a tasty frozen Coke for $1.49. A participating McDonald's, Coca-Cola and Fanta are registered trademarks of the Coca-Cola Company. ba da ba 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 You know, when it comes to checking out your heart and finding out what's going on on the inside, Life Imaging FLA is leading the way, telling people before they have a heart attack that they have a blockage, that they have a problem, that they need to rush to the hospital and have emergency surgery. They have saved people's lives by seeing before the heart attack that it was coming. 30 to 40% of the time, the first symptom is just sudden death. There's no warning whatsoever. And this is not any kind of hassle. It takes you all 10 minutes, no dyes, no need to undress. It is a free heart scan with just a few minimum requirements that you get at a $699 value. And while you're there too, ask Life Imaging FLA about the cancer screening, about the virtual colonography. They're doing it and they're telling people things that are going on on the inside long before the symptoms even appear. It is medicine and it is magical and I love it. Life Imaging FLA right now offering you this free heart scan with a few minimum requirements from your cell call pound 250 and say the keyword free heart scan that is pound 250 keyword free heart scan you call that a precision stop when a rookie stunt driver just give me a shot meets the trainer who thought he'd seen it all come on focus they'll soon find out that behind the wheel of the nissan rogue with the power of VC Turbo and the most fuel-efficient gas-powered engine in its class. Watch this. The protege can become a master. But this is no ordinary blockbuster. It's a Nissan sales event ad. Woo! Level up your drive with 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Shop the Nissan sales event. Visit your local Nissan store and NissanUSA.com today. Auto Pacific segmentation excluding hybrids and electric vehicles. 2024 EPA fuel economy estimates from 28 city, 34 highway to 30 city, 37 highway for 2024 Nissan Rogue. Actual mileage may vary. For well qualified buyers, 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on new 2023 Rogue and dealer stock example, 60 months financing at 1748 per month per thousand finance. Actual down payment may vary. Subject to residency restrictions and in-mac credit approval. Not all buyers qualify. Dealer contribution may affect actual price set by dealer. Contact dealer for details. Ends 4 Coconut shrimp is back at Pollo Tropical. We're serving a perfectly golden, sweet and savory coconut shrimp in a bowl, platter, or as a side with our pineapple rum sauce. Don't miss out on coconut shrimp at Pollo Tropical. Try it today. Want your child to go to summer camp, but afraid you can't afford it? Did you know you can apply for one of the more than 3,000 summer camp scholarships available right now for Palm Beach County children? Now is the time to apply for camp scholarships. The deadline is April 12th. To learn more, go to everyparentpbc.org forward slash camp. That's everyparentpbc.org forward slash camp. This message brought to you by Children's Services Council of Palm Beach County. If you're thinking about a move, if you're thinking about buying or selling any kind of property or home, if you're thinking about switching up your homeowner's insurance, there is one name that you need to know, and that is Greek. The good Greek enterprises now handle everything with your relocation, everything with your move, everything with your real estate, and it's a name that you know and trust. Absolutely, and that's why they are growing the way that they do, because they do everything right when it comes to customer service. They're reliable. They show up on time. They take care of your stuff and they do it with a smile on their face. I can't tell if everyone in my neighborhood is moving in or moving out, but I, I swear <laughs> to you, every third day I see a good Greek moving truck driving around. You see their trucks everywhere because they have nearly 200 of them. 200 trucks. That's why you see them. They're growing because they do it right. If you're thinking about switching up where you live, if you're thinking about moving or storing or auto transport or 
or drunk removal. They do all of that and they do it so well. Go goodgreek.com because it's all good Greek to us. South Florida weather is 15 seconds away from the H. Greg West Palm Beach Weather Center. Get ready for March Madness at hgreg.com on Military Trail. Score big savings with a slam dunk selection of pre-owned vehicles. They've got a lineup that'll make you feel like a champion on the road. hgreg.com, where every drive is a victory lap. Save more, drive happy. Rainy and a cloudy start to Tuesday as the cold front is still moving through. That's why we're dealing with this kind of weather. But more sunshine does return this afternoon. Temperatures this morning, upper 60s, low 70s. And then by this afternoon, staying cool with a high of 72 and a windy north wind. I'm WPTV First Alert Meteorologist Jennifer Correa, 97.9 WRMF. This report is sponsored by Snyder, serving Florida families for over 50 years. Snyder has landed in South Florida with top-rated AC expertise just in time to beat the South Florida heat. Ready for a shocking twist? Snyder's also got plumbing and electrical expertise. That's right, when you need a home hero, Snyder's a full-service, one-stop shop, ready to answer any call. Dunkin' Donuts, the official coffee of 97.9 WRMF. What you need to know on the KVJ Show. Well, if you're not already, you need to be downloading and listening through the WRMF app. Because if you listen a lot to the KBJ show, you should get a reward. And that's exactly what happens for you. You can accrue points, things for cash, things for tickets. So many cool reasons why you should be listening. You can catch us anywhere in the world when you listen on the app. You can also catch our podcast we do every single day the live show and even the bonus after the show it is there every single day all you have to do is go to your little app store and download it for free right now just look for wrmf all of these people in my life acting berserk i'm feeling all pissed off and hurt i need to know if i am the jerk oh am i the jerk oh. got a couple emails here people want to know if they are the jerk or not how would you rule on this? This girl's want to know if she is a jerk for setting a snooze ultimatum. She said, I gave my boyfriend an ultimatum. He can snooze his alarm twice, max, or <laughs> he's sleeping on the couch. Am I being unreasonable? I agree with her. I think because look, I love to hit the snooze, but I only hit it once because I know that Panda hears it just like when it goes off like i hear it he hears it too and it disturbs his sleep long before he has to get up personally mm -hmm. i don't think it's cool if your sleeping ways or disturbances is infringing on someone else's sleep i don't think that's the right move hitting the snooze multiple 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 times i mean that that's just not nice i mean i have to if i'm in a relationship with somebody i have to tell them i go look i may have to sleep out on the couch just because i know i have night terrors i may thrash i may go ah! head but voices night terrors just yes i just know it's not going to be the best round of sleep for you if they're dating you though they know it's a roller coaster they should know <laughs> <laughs> They should know what they're getting themselves into. <laughs> it's like the Gravitron and Space Mountain had a baby. I know you're being insulting, but there's some truth to it. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like you're being a jerk if if you do that. I, and, and look, my question is, is the person who's doing it, are they being a jerk? Or is it just something that they can't help? My oldest son, Colin used to be that way where it was amazing. He would have this alarm. Have you heard the one that sounds like the sub, the depth, when it goes down, it goes, uh, uh, uh. Oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's awful. That was what he had for his alarm. And it would be going off for probably 90 minutes. Yeah. And he had the passcode <laughs> on his phone and you couldn't turn it off. So everybody in the house was subjected to that depth finding sound for like 90 minutes until finally he woke up it's not the right move you gotta, like, you gotta yeah. figure it out if, if you're the person that needs this snoozing you gotta figure out a different system yeah okay all right so not the jerk is the ruling on that one what about this am i the jerk for not tipping a server that was flirting with my boyfriend <laughs> It says here, I was having dinner with my boyfriend outside his hometown in Georgia last week. The waitress knew him from high school, and let's just say that she was too familiar for my liking. She kept calling my boyfriend, sweetie pie, 
and acted like I wasn't even there. That's what they call everybody in Georgia. You are just being a little bit sensitive here. She also made a point to touch his arm on several occasions. After the meal, she handed him the bill, but I offered to pay since my boyfriend had picked up our hotel bill and all other meals to this point. It's then that I noticed a big old smiley face with a heart on it, and I was livid. Yes, I tipped this girl, but it was not generous. After we left, my boyfriend asked me about the tip to confirm that I had left her 20%. I said I had tipped her, and after pressuring me, I even told him how much. He got so upset with me that he turns right around to go give this hoochie mama a bigger tip. It caused a big fight that my boyfriend blamed on me. I was upset that he didn't see how disrespectful she was. He told me it was just how girls were in the South, and I'm from Philadelphia, and I wouldn't understand. Well, let's make this one thing clear. Girls from the South and Philly girls are definitely different. Definitely. Definitely different. She said, I'm sorry I may not get the South, but I do get other women. Am I the jerk? I mean, I think you're a little too overly sensitive about her being friendly. A lot of waitresses flirt, and that's how they get tips. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think flirting is a bad thing. She's being friendly. She's being sweet. She's being nice. She wants to get a fat tip, and she knows him. She's not going to drop to her knees and start making out with him. Like, well, what do you think's going to happen in the restaurant with you sitting right there that you're so jealous about? She's thinking she got disrespected. If I was, right. if I was him, if this is as soon as the waitress would have walked away, I would have made a joke or a comment going, "Oh boy, look at that! Southern people touch your arm, or they call you sweetie pie." Maybe make note of it and lighten up the mood with some levity. I, I think always try to solve with levity at first. Well, there could be a couple of things. One, if that is a lot of what goes on in the South, he may not think anything of it. And two. Do you, Virginia, think that sometimes guys are blind to when girls are hitting on them or don't seem to acknowledge it because maybe they enjoy it. They don't want to shut down the attention. I don't know. I think that's possible, but I think more times than not, a female server, a female bartender is not interested in taking your man. She is flirting because she wants to get a nice tip. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, if you flirt with guys, they do give you money. I've seen it. And he's thinking, well, this is my hometown. She knows everybody that I grew up with. And then she didn't go back. And believe me, these small towns, they tell everybody everything. Well, he knows her. Yeah, He's probably embarrassed that his girl left a cheapy tip. If I was in the situation, I leave the normal tip I normally do. And we keep it moving. I don't Mm -hmm. think this is. Would you go back if your girlfriend shortchanged this girl? What I would, I, I don't think it would get to that point, honestly, with me. But I would say this is how I, I tip everybody good. That's what, that's what I do, and I understand that she, you think she's flirting with me. Let's let's try to laugh about this. Mm. And let, let's have a good night together and be like, look, I can't help it. I'm just that sexy. Yeah, well, you could yeah. you could take the light side of this. <laughs> yeah, you found out after the moment and goes back to add to the tip. Oh, it's so dramatic now at this point. Like, mm. oh. I wouldn't like the fact that someone thought I gave them a terrible tip. Mm-hmm. That would that would bother me. Yeah, so you would go back. And then I would realize I'm probably not supposed to be with this girl. Then we'd probably break up, and that's why I'm single. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think that this girl is playing it right. You are coming off like you are insecure. You're coming off like you're jealous and you're coming off like you can't handle social situations where someone's nice to your man. Well, there's some times where you can't, you know, you can't control what the outside world's going to do. If your boyfriend wasn't doing anything wrong and the waitress is the one being flirty. And you're, now, now you're fighting you're, with your yeah, boyfriend. You're fighting with your boyfriend who's not even. You're an he, idiot. What's he supposed to do? Stand up and say, don't you dare touch me. I mean, right. he's just trying to get through it. Well, I think a couple of things she needs to realize. One, sweetie pie is a term of endearment they throw around the South. It doesn't mean you want to sleep with anybody. And then two, when it comes to the smiley faces and emojis and all that kind of stuff, I did see this last week that they say a smiley face can mean as much as a 25% increase in a tip. Man, when people are nice to me, it does. And it, it works. Yeah. It, it, you take 
notice when a little kid has manners. You take notice. You take you take notice when people are polite. Waitresses do this with everybody. It's not just with you and your man. They do it when it's a girl. They do it when I'm dining by myself. I get hearts and happy faces on the receipt all the time. And it makes you tip more. They know that. <laughs> Remember I told you about the woman who was making my sub and she called me sweetie pie and called me honey? Mm-hmm. I go back there because I like how she... I, I she makes feel me good. feel good. Yeah. She makes me feel pretty, Kevin. Mm-hmm. Just a little flirting is not a bad thing. Mm-hmm. Well, no, well, if he's flirt- somebody's found your man attractive and she's she's noticing that that he is attractive. I think it's a compliment to you and your picker. Now he better not flirt back, though. That's that's a difference. That's right. You don't flirt back. It's gotta be one way. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Coming up here in a couple of minutes, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and West Palm Beach was named the best metro area in the company or in the country for something that I think Virginia will absolutely love. I'll let you know what we're number one in coming up next. I want you to love me like I'm a hot guy.
Now, Florida is number one in the country. If you're talking about Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and West Palm Beach as a metro area, according to Storage Cafe, we are the best city in America for shopping. Oh. For, for clothes or just food i think it's uh it's not food <laughs> <laughs> it would say grocery shopping if it yes were. uh they say it is the ultimate shopper's paradise all because of the diverse shopping options they say everything from florida's largest mall and designer boutiques to flea markets and thrift shops make miami fort lauderdale and west palm beach the best city in america for shopping i would agree with that i think we're lucky down here and if you go to other areas of the country like i just did like kentucky yeah uh, not good shopping <laughs> i am i am happy like a pig and poop at a flea market i love me a flea market that's where you find weird people right. and weird items at yeah. flea markets well i mean they've got a ton of everything from big fancy flea markets like the one that they got at the drive-in theater in broward to just the whole antique row that they've got right off of Palm Beach and sure. West Palm. It's all fancy so, and expensive. All the high-end pawn shops that we have and stuff yeah. like that. You're mm -hmm. right. Not all flea markets are, are on the same level. No. There's some really yeah. shady ones. They are yeah. not. They say the Miami region, which we are in, had the largest number of retail stores per 1,000 residents of all analyzed metros and rated high for the number of associates available per 1,000 residents. And they said, what was great about shopping in South Florida is the walkability. We do have a lot of really cool outdoor walking areas. You think about Lincoln Road, cool little place to do some shopping. You have got everything from the square in West Palm Beach, great place to do some shopping. And they said it's luxury offerings, which we've got a lot of. A lot. Lincoln Road is in Miami. Miami. Mm -hmm. South Beach. Am I close? <laughs> <laughs> They say that the good thing about all the shopping viability that we have here in South Florida is a lot of people really believe in what is called retail therapy, and they find some real therapeutic results from it. If you don't know, retail therapy is linked to the feeling of excitement and satisfaction we get when we indulge in a shopping spree. Oh, that's a real thing, my friend. You kind of get that little feeling, don't you? I eat dinosaur garden. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was buying dinosaur statues left and right. What about you, Virginia? You get a little bit of a thrill or a rush when you're out shopping? I do. And I feel good when I get deals. Th that's it. I don't like to overpay. I don't like when stuff is not on sale. I like a sale. I like a deal. I, uh, I, I, I've always been one of those TJ Maxinistas. It, it started really, I mean, I always loved that stuff as a kid. And then even in college, I dabbled with, I always was collecting something, but I never really full on got it. And then I don't know, like 10 years ago, I bought one Star Wars figure from my childhood, yeah. Greedo. And it started with just that one figure and then it developed into a thing. And got it. That's where it started. You're like, wait, I'm a grown up. I can buy whatever toys I wanted well, when I was a kid and I didn't get. Talking to my dad, he goes, this is just how your grandmother was. She was, she was, she loved knickknacks and collectibles. And okay. She had all this stuff just like it's you a genetic do. trait. You wonder, is it yeah. genetic? Maybe. I don't know. Kind oh. of odd. Are you filling a void from your childhood? Oh, I definitely think there's voids being filled. Yeah. I just, I <laughs> we all have voids to fill. Yeah. <laughs> if I gave you a thousand dollars to spend... It's mad cash. You can't save it or plunk it down anywhere else. You have to go shopping right here and now. Where in South Florida are you telling me to drop you off, Virginia? Oh, you know, I really enjoy going to pawn shops. I know it sounds... Okay. Sometimes they're sketchy. So where would you go? Like, where is your collection of pawn shops where I'm going to drop you? I like the one right there on North Lake. I like the one uh, right over there by Klepto's house. Yeah. Right there on North Lake Boulevard, just uh, west of US 1. Okay. And I think that you can go and find fantastic deals. But what you have to do is you have to kind of know what you're looking for. 
Okay. And then you have to have your smartphone with you too, because you have to be able to go on eBay and go and do research mm -hmm. on Google. Like if you're finding jewelry, watches, purses, sunglasses, stuff like that, you have to go research the item and see like what kind of deals you're getting. Okay. But it's kind of fun. Okay. What about uh, you, Bird? Thousand dollars, where am I dropping you? Very easy. It's yeah. going to sound like I'm doing home cooking and maybe I am, but it's also in my heart. I believe it. It is Kelsey Vintage Goods. It's a place I, uh, one of my childhood friends, Jesse Furman, he owns it. Mm -hmm. And it's all the stuff that I'm into. It's antique stuff, but it's also toys. It's old albums. It's very, if you're looking for stuff that your loved ones go, Hey, I want, I wanted an album or my dad was a rock collector. Or, Do you have 1970s rocks? Weird things like that. And the reason why I say him is because when you go in there, he's amazing at sending you to other places in okay. the area if he doesn't have it. Okay. So he's not one of those guys that looks well. at other people as competition. Mm -hmm. he, he He's really great at it. Jesse Furman, Kelsey Vintage Goods. It, uh, if you like that stuff and you like that world, he'll he'll get you where to go from Miami all the way up to, up to the Fort Pierce area. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think if I have the uh, thousand bucks, I'm either going to the Palm Beach Outlets, Sawgrass, or I'm going to Aventura. What are you buying though? I typically I go in. It, it's uh, I go to Zara. That's why Aventura would probably be uh, one of the places. I like the Lululemon Bargain Rack, and I like going to the Express Bargain Rack. This is a guilt-free thousand dollars. Yeah, by the but way. <laughs> I'm getting so much. I, I mean, I would have clothes for five years. Really? I thought probably Lulu, more. I thought Lululemon was expensive. Bargain Rack. Really? Yeah. And I mean, even then, it's not a bargain. Is, is Lululemon kind of like what TJ Maxx does? You go there and you can find them them polos, the Ralph Lorenz that were popular 14 years ago, <laughs> but you can now get them and they're brand new. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's the stuff that didn't sell, okay. you know, that a year ago was... <sighs> Probably $110 a shirt. Now for, I get it for like 30 or 40 You know what I'm talking about. TJ Maxx has got that one section, and they are they're great brands, but you do look at it and go, huh, do I really need a, a shirt with an orange sleeve and then a green sleeve on the other <laughs> side? <All> right. <laughs> I noticed something, too, about TJ Maxx that I don't know if, if a lot of girls realize what they've done. So they've got this thing at TJ Maxx called The Runway, uh -huh. where they used to have specialty little pieces. You would go in there and it'd be like couture pieces like really nice stuff but like either it's an odd size or there's some like little stitching that's messed up on it and so you would get it for like a crazy good deal well now because of the success of that runway brand now they've got a bunch of stuff in there you can always go and find i think these labels are making stuff specifically for the runway line okay and it's the high-end label but it's the same concept as the outlet mall mm. where they've created a inferior line that doesn't have as nice of fabrics and stitching and quality but it's still got that brand name on it that you know that you're like oh this is fancy but is it okay if there's 18 pieces of this specialty piece guess what it's not couture it's not fancy they're tricking us all right Keep your topic too reminds me of something i don't know if you remember but it was a big thing toys r us was doing back when we were kids and they mm. offered a shopping spree you could win i think it was up to either 500 to a thousand dollars and toys r us, they gave you an hour to spend yeah. All that money, and you would leave. That was their promotion of it. Yeah. And as a kid, you go, oh, my gosh, $1,000 of Toys R Us. I can fill a whole cart. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, it's a pretty cool concept, that's right? That's the Amazing. dream. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, if you're looking for some shopping therapy, but you don't have the money, you've got a nice little Powerball jackpot. Nobody won last night. It was $655 million. Now, tomorrow night, it's going to be $687 million at least. Whoa. And you could get an even bigger jackpot because the mega millions is at 875 for tonight's drawing so got some big jackpots <sighs> seen a few numbers dancing over ralston's shoulder but i don't think we should i don't think we should do it th this year i think we should ignore my numbers <laughs> <laughs> i bought all your numbers last year and about went broke one zero <laughs> <laughs> i know <laughs> well they call them swift quakes because they rock the stadium. What Taylor Swift song 
rocks the arena the most. I'll let you know coming up next here on the KBJ Show. Once the flight had flown uh, With the wilt of the rose uh, I slept all alone uh, But you still wouldn't go Let's fast forward to 300 takeout copies later I see your profile and your smile on unsuspecting waiters You dream of my mouth before it called you a lying traitor You search in every maiden's bed for something greater Baby, was it over when she laid down on your couch? Was it over when he unbuttoned my blouse? Come here, I whispered in your ear and you dream as you passed out Baby, was it over then? And is it over now? When you lost control uh -huh. Red blood, white snow uh -huh. Blue dress on a bow your new girl is my clone and Did you think I didn't see you? There were flashing lights At least I had the decency to keep my nights Out of sight, only room was by my hips and thighs And my whispered sighs Oh lord, I think about jumping Off a very tall somethings Just to see you come running and say the one thing I've been wanting, but no! Let's fast forward to 300 awkward blind dates later If she's got blue eyes, I will surmise that she'll probably date her You dream of my mouth before it called you a lying traitor You search in every model's bed for something greater, baby Was it over when she laid down on your couch? Was it over when he unbuttoned my blouse? Come here, I was put in your ear and your dream as you passed out, baby. Was it over then? And is it over now? I didn't see you, there were flashing lights At least I had the decency to keep my nights Out of sight, only rumbles by my hips and thighs And I whispered sighs, oh lord I think about jumping Off a very tall somethings Just to see you come running, running And say the one thing I've been wanting But no! They call them Swift Quakes, and I guess we are going to be experiencing them when Taylor Swift winds up coming to Hard Rock Stadium later on this year. They noticed this in Los Angeles, that the 70,000 Swifties they had at the Eras Tour were rocking the stadium so much that they were getting earthquake-like tremors. You got to be careful there in Southern California because that could trigger the great one, Virginia. Could the Swifties set off an earthquake? Well, Is that real? Gosh, wouldn't that be amazing? Do that, that, tremors that, cause more tremors? That's what finally snapped Southern California off of the United States, <laughs> a Taylor Swift concert. Well, that was always the question you'd always talk about as a kid. What if everybody on earth at the same time jumped, jumped and jumped and jumped? What does that do? What happened to our world? What would happen to our world? Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Great questions. But they found that there were five songs that really set off the crowd and they were able to, by the seismic shift that had happened, Put them in order. What song do you think rocks the stadium the most when Taylor Swift performs? It's got to be Shake It Off, right? Going to go Shake It Off? Bird, you are such a Swifty. You are correct. Wow. It was on in Publix the other day, and I was shaking my thing. like it was, I didn't even realize I was dancing down the aisle. It makes me move. Yeah. Look at you, sassy cat. I was sassy in the grocery <laughs> aisle. Shake It Off was number one. You Belong to Me, or You Belong With Me. That was the second biggest Quaker. Love Story, 
Cruel Summer, and then 22. Okay. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. I think if you are not a Swifty and you're a parent and you're going to a Taylor Swift show, you got to probably get like three days rest before you go. (laughs) And maybe a couple days rest after. It's got to be exhausting. (laughs) Yeah, for some reason, my wife has turned into a huge Swifty. I walked in the house the other day. She had the, it. It was so loud, the Taylor Swift going on. I, I couldn't talk to anybody. I was trying to talk to my son, and I, I started turning down. I got yelled at. I'm like, I can't hear anything. It's <laughs> so loud. I can't get away from it. I've noticed with the, the same. It's kind of like the Beatles effect. I get that not everyone loves the Beatles, mm-hmm. but at certain times, a lot of people have a Beatle phase, and they get into the Beatles. Yeah, I'm noticing the same thing with with the swift thing right virginia's going through her swift phase her you are you, the you lyrics to like her i know the lyrics just started speaking to me I, my mom was a big beatles fan and i had some hypnotism going on here. i hate the beatles as a kid but i went through a phase as an adult same thing's going on with the swift the yeah swift and, and i think the access too because the arrows i think my wife was watching some stuff on youtube but then maybe there's some stuff on apple tv i think they dropped her oh she's everywhere thing on there yeah yeah i think the movie is now available yeah yeah so that's what's been blaring in my house so we've had our own little swift quakes oh they, they got they, they got her <laughs> they, they got her <laughs> here's what's coming up on the dirt of the day dirt of the day well, I'm sure you guys watched the Oprah Winfrey diet special last night. Oh, no, yeah. No. I don't have to tell you two what happened, but I'll tell everybody else what Oprah had to say coming up in your dirt. Entertainment updates five minutes after every hour from the KBJ Show on 97.9 WRMF. From the WRMF Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys Traffic Center. If you've been in an accident, call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Storm Smart provides homeowners with Storm Catcher Screens, the leading hurricane safety product on the market. Storm Smart Screens block up to 95% of rain and wind. Call 833-60-SMART or go to stormsmart.com for your free consultation. We have an accident that is off to the right shoulder on 95 southbound at Lantana Road. Expect some slowdowns in the area. You've also got residual delays following a crash on 95 southbound in the area of Glades Road. Give yourself extra time there as well. And in Broward County, keep an eye out for a crash on the 95 Express Lanes. This is on the southbound side as you're approaching Sunrise Boulevard, a right express lane blocked in that area. That's traffic. I'm Suits for 97.9 WRMF. Demand Dave! 844-4111-LAW Demand Dave! For car accident or slip and fall Need a personal injury lawyer? Your friends and comrades 844-4111-LAW DemandDave.com Hey, if you're tired of glasses and contact lenses, there's a much better way to go, and that is Panu Laser. I did it about a decade ago. It's one of the best decisions I have ever made because I stayed away from the glasses and the contact lenses, and I also stayed away from the recurring costs that happened over the last decade. If I were getting new lenses, frames, solutions, all those kind of things. Let me tell you, it's so hassle-free, too, because there's convenient locations all over Broward and Palm Beach County, and it doesn't take long. My whole procedure took 90 seconds. I was in and out 45 minutes and there's no downtime. I was back to work the very next day. And it's so affordable. You can do it right now. Not only is it more affordable than you would think, but they got a payment plan where you don't need any money until next year. You got 12 months with zero down and zero interest. And when you book your free consultation, go on ahead and drop my name, Kevin, from the KBJ Show, and they will take an additional $500 off. So for what reason would you wait? Go on ahead. Click online, panulaser.com to book right now. That's P-A-N-N-U, laser.com. We pay the max. Ah. We pay the max. Ah. We pay the max. Ah. Let auto buy pay you the max. You're on your way to big fat stacks. We pay the max. max, max, max. We pay the max. max, max, max. We pay the max. Get the max for your pre-owned car, truck, or SUV. Go to WePayTheMax.com. 
Strax Aesthetics unlocks the secret to great cosmetic surgery. Have surgery now and pay later. Breast augmentations and tummy tucks less than $150 per month for qualified patients. Extreme weight loss with a gastric sleeve procedure. The Strax Med Spa offers Botox for $9.99 per unit and unbeatable prices on Juvederm. Guaranteed to beat any comparable quote. Schedule a free face-to-face consultation with your actual board-certified surgeon. Saturday appointments available too. Visit StraxPlastics.com or call 954-749-3040 for more info. If your windows and doors need a little love, now is a great time to do it because hurricane season will be here before we know it. Plan ahead. Switch out your windows and doors with BNT, the company that I went with, and you'll be so happy. And then you'll be so chill. Come hurricane season, you can breathe a sigh of relief. The stress won't be there because you know you've done everything to protect your home, your investment, your family your property. I mean, when you do these windows and doors from BNT, you really do make your home a fortress. I love that. It's going to be safe. It's going to be protected. And you've done everything you can. Go online today. They'll come out. They'll measure every window. They'll measure every door, give you a full estimate. They are the master installers and they use that custom PGT product too. PGT just sells the best and the most windows. It's the best selling product because more people buy PGT than any other window and the guys from BNT really know their stuff when it comes to installation. Go online today, bntwindowsanddoors.com. Hi, it's Randy, and my Easter tradition is with the Honey Baked Ham Company because there's nothing like it. And look, you got to shop early and avoid the rush. Honey Baked's complete Easter meals are impressive, delicious, but they're convenient. That's my favorite part. Spend less time in the kitchen, more time with family. Complete meals, bone-in, boneless ham, smoked and roasted turkey breasts, the side dishes are available for any size gathering. And those heat and serve sides are just super convenient. You put them in the microwave or the oven. They're ready in as little as 15 minutes. If you're hosting brunch, not dinner this year, did you know that Honey Baked's Take and Bake Sliders and Biscuits are amazing. Check this out. Ham and Swiss Sliders, Garlic Herb Turkey and Cheddar Sliders, and the Ham and Cheddar Biscuits. I'm so hungry just thinking about it. And don't forget about dessert. Honey Baked has those decadent cakes and pies as well. And you got to get it at Honey Baked Ham. They got you covered for Easter brunch and dinner or any of your spring gatherings. The meals are delicious, easy to serve, and convenient. Honeybake.com. Place an order for pickup. Find a store near you and see the extended store hours. Walk-in customers are always welcome too. And happy Easter from Honey Big Tam. I'll tell you, there's never been a better time to upgrade to a new Kia. It's Nick Rivers with inventory levels the best they've been in years. Greenway Kia of West Palm Beach, highly motivated to make some deals that other dealers won't. Drive home in a new 2024 Kia Forte for only $219 a month. 24 month lease with $27.99 due at signing. Plus, all new Kias come with a 10 year, 100,000 mile limited warranty. Are you unsure about your credit? Forget it. Get pre-qualified online without affecting your credit score at Greenway Kia West Palm Beach dot com. Plus, and they want your old car. Bring in any trade. Get up to a five thousand dollar discount off any select new Kia stocks only at Greenway Kia of West Palm Beach. Call 800 new Kias. Follow them on Facebook or online. Greenway Kia West Palm Beach dot com. And remember, we want to see you in a Greenway Kia. Qualified applicants through KMF. Ten thousand miles per year. Security deposit waived. Plus tax tag and nine ninety nine admin fee negative equity refinance discount includes all factory rebates to dealer warranty is a limited powertrain warranty see kia.com or retailer for details offers don't combine expires may 5th well if you were moved by that oprah special last night and you yourself are realizing that you need to lose some weight and you want to fight the stigmas that have been out there you know wellington anti-aging can help you out Whatever it was that got Oprah skinny, they got. They can get you skinny too or get you to that ideal body weight. Help you feel a little bit more confident. Be a healthier version of yourself. Because look, those things are working. And all you have to do is go online to wellingtonantiaging.com to book your free consultation. Go in there and see what works. They've got the weight loss stuff that will work. And they've also got things like hormone replacement therapy, which does even more. It gives you more energy. It helps you with your menopause. It gives you a better libido and can even fend off some long-term health complications like cancer, type 2 diabetes, even heart disease. So go online to book that free consultation at wellingtonantiaging.com. That's wellingtonantiaging.com. Experience the Anajar Levine difference. Call 1-800-747-FREE. 
From the Greenway Kia of West Palm Beach Studio. We want to see you in a Greenway Kia. This is 97.9 WRMF Palm Beach. It's the KVJ. Dirt of the day. It's the KVJ. Dirt of the day. Virginia. Take it away. Because you know we need that dirt of the day. Dirt of the day. Well, I was fascinated to check out Oprah Winfrey's special last night all about weight loss. It was called an Oprah special, Shame, Blame, and the Weight Loss Revolution. Oh, wow. And in it, she talked about, you know, how she's lost more than 40 pounds with the use of Ozempic. She talked about how, you know, she had to step down from Weight Watchers. And I thought it was kind of weird, too, because during the special, Weight Watchers ran commercials. (laughs) There were Weight mm. Watchers commercials running during the special where Oprah talked about how she had to try something different because Weight Watchers wasn't getting it done. That's, a, that's an interesting play. I thought so, too. I was like, all right. Maybe they're all in it together. Weight Watchers, Ozempic, Oprah. I don't know. Yeah, she had not just the people from Ozempic. She also had the people from Monjoro and the people from uh, all the different brands represented the different uh, pharmaceutical companies that make these weight loss drugs. Uh And she had a lot of people in the audience that were just talking about, you know, the same stuff that she was talking about that. Look, she's like, my weight loss has kind of been a national joke for 25 years. Mm -hmm. Making fun of my weight was sport. Yeah. And everybody in the audience was kind of talking too about, look, it's an obsession of food that some people have and some people don't. If you don't have it, you don't understand it. But some people obsess about food and think about food and just overeat food whenever they're presented with great food. As and- you're talking, I just, I'm just randomly looking at pizzas on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Some people are obsessed. You can see that Oprah struck a nerve, too, because the video I saw, this girl had tears just streaming down her face. Oh, there's a lot of tears, Kevin. (laughs) Oh. If pounds were tears, everybody would have lost weight in that crowd. And here was Oprah talking about how she has been ridiculed throughout her entire career about her weight. I took on the shame that the world gave to me. For 25 years, making fun of my weight was national sport. 1990, I saw myself on the cover of TV Guide's Best and Worst Dress List. And I remember thinking, oh, look, there I am on the cover. Mr. Blackwell, the tastemaker of the time, called me bumpy, lumpy, and downright dumpy. I was ridiculed on every late night talk show for 25 years and tabloid covers for 25 years. So in an effort to combat all the shame, I starved myself for nearly five months and then wheeled out that wagon of fat. And after losing 67 pounds on a liquid diet, the next day I started to gain it back. Mm. And, and I hear what Oprah's saying, but here's the one thing I, I people got to understand. I think that when, when you go in the public eye, you're never going to have Everyone say how you're going to you're going to have shots thrown at you no matter who you are. People are going to be mean. So is the goal to try to stop people from being mean because you're never going to stop that? Or is this more of her just saying, look, I'm trying to let you all know what I've been doing. Stop asking questions. This is my this is what it is. I think, too, she's trying to. Yes, all those things you said. Plus, she's trying to help other people understand you know, this weight loss revolution. It is a whole new game because of these drugs. And I think she wants to normalize the fact that, you know, some of us do obsess about food. Some of us do have serious weight issues because we crave and we think about food and what the Ozempic and the Monjoro and the uh, Wagovi, all those things do. They turn off that switch and you just don't obsess about food like you used to. Because when you say that, but Giorno, I, I keep hearing in my head, Giorno. You hear DiGiorno. DiGiorno pizza. <laughs> like, I'm like, why are you talking about frozen pizza during a weight loss story? <laughs> <laughs> See? Obsession.
<laughs> so was the goal of this to destigmatize? Because I know that people have talked about using the weight loss drugs. They do get shamed and not just for using to lose weight or what people would say taking the easy way out. I know people with diabetes are saying you're taking away our drugs and people are saying you're paying too much money. Where are you getting that money from? So there's been a lot of reasons why I think there has been shame thrown on people taking those drugs. Well, the pharmaceutical companies, they're not taking ownership of, you know, making it more widely available and more affordable they're blaming the insurance industry that was a big thing like they and oprah want the insurance industry to acknowledge obesity as a disease as a uh, um, obsessing about food as a disease mm -hmm. and therefore cover it by insurance and then make the insurance company pay for your Ozempic instead of you having to pay out of pocket because it's not prescribed. It's so, it's so, it's so controversial because the people are so opinionated on this, this topic on both sides of it. And then a person like me, I come from a family who is obsessed with food on one side of the family. My mother's side, all we do, still, we talk about food. On my dad's side, it wasn't like that. So I, I feel like I got a perspective on people who love to eat and people who, you know, eat to live. Right. And it's, <laughs> it's, you're, you're, you're able to keep it all in check. And I think, I think that there's, there's truth about, if you're depressed, for some people, you go to food to fill voids and all that. What I don't like is all, because I understand that side of it, but I also understand the side of there are times where you do got to put it down and you got to get up a little bit and move around. So there is a balance there where I feel like the media has attacked it and made it. It's either this or that. And there's a lot of nuance between there. Yeah, there's a lot of gray area. And I think it's a very personal choice. And I think that was what she was just trying to do is take away the shame. However you choose to feel best in your skin, mm -hmm. don't feel shame. Okay. You do you. I remember me and Kevin talked about how us getting shamed made us lose the weight and almost keep it off yeah and we we said we didn't like getting shamed no. but it worked it was effective it, it affected it, it worked did it did it not yeah it did <laughs> i would never do that to somebody <laughs> Well, over the weekend, I certainly fell into a little rabbit hole of TikTok, um, creating this whole drama that Kate Middleton was missing. Did you see it over the weekend? Everybody was talking about, oh my gosh, is Kate Middleton dead? Is she not even with us anymore? What the hell happened to her? Because I guess she hasn't been seen out in public in weeks. But I didn't go that route. To me, what I thought was more interesting was the rumors that there were affairs that were happening and that he had actually fathered a love child with another woman. That's what I thought had been fascinating and that they had been with another couple and they might have been doing some interesting things in the bedroom together as couples and then things kind of splintered off. Well, they looked very much like a couple in these pictures that I'm looking at. I guess they were taken over the weekend. Yeah, they looked very happy walking for 10 feet. They were walking to their car <laughs> for 10 feet. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't keep it together right. for 10 feet. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> But she is not missing. I mean, that's right. what TikTok was trying to yeah. say, that she was missing. I never bought that part of the conspiracy theory anyway. Oh, really I bought it. I loved it. <laughs> but the fact that there's trouble in paradise in their marriage. Uh, <sighs> well, that's believable. Right. Let's see what happens. Isn't there trouble in every marriage? <laughs> <laughs> And finally here, Alicia Keys, uh, a bunch of celebrities and Rock Nation are all stepping up to help this performing arts school in New York City. The professional performing arts school, I guess drama program was in danger of being canceled and students set up a GoFundMe. Celebrities like Alicia Keys and a bunch of others got the word and helped to donate. Now uh, she threw in personal personally, $60,000 to help out the program. And you love seeing that when celebrities put their money where their mouth is and help out these public arts schools. And that's what's going on in your dirt. It's time for viral audio. Hey, yeah, beautiful hair. They can't hear me because they're listening to Kids Fox. We got weights and fit. There we go. Oh. Did you guys get a chance to hear any of Justin Timberlake's new album that he dropped on Friday? I 
did not hear that, but I did. Uh, it came up on my feed mm -hmm. uh, of him playing hit that the selfish song on guitar, just him. Yeah, and it sounded really good. Yeah, no, he uh, did a really cool thing. He actually did that NPR tiny desk, and he had uh, his whole crew in there with him. I think he has thirteen different musicians and backup singers so they were crammed into a desk area at uh, NPR. Not a single guy from NSYNC but 13 other dudes. Right yeah absolutely <laughs> and, and yeah they perform and they sound good. I mean it's going to be a great concert. By the way that NPR tiny desk thing yeah. if you're a music lover I highly recommend getting involved and watching that. They they really mm -hmm. it's a great program. Yeah here he is pretty much just Justin Timberlake and his guitar doing Selfish. So if I get jealous I can't help it. I want every bit of you. I guess I'm selfish. It's bad for my mental, but I can't fight it when you're out looking like you do, but you can't hide it. No. Okay, there you go. Yeah, it sounds great. Right. If you're a music lover and you're mm -hmm. you're, you're looking for new acts. Watch that tiny desk. I'm telling you. Yeah, the Justin Timberlake version is great. They did about 20, 30 minutes. A lot of different songs, including some of the old classics like Rock Your Body. Don't be so Don't walk away. Come on and dance with me. Okay. There, there's a, on that tiny desk thing, there's a version where Sting and Shaggy does... Uh, yeah, they did an album together. Yeah, it, it's good. It's such a fun performance when you're watching it. Mm -hmm. you, you just want to smile and dance. It's good. It's good uh, concept that they have there. They also did "Sexy Back." I bring your sexy back. Yeah. Them other boys don't know how to act. Yeah. I think you're special. What's behind your back? Yeah. So turn around and I'll pick up the slack. Yeah. Come on, yeah, sing it with me. Say. Uh. There you go. So that wasn't bad. It's a good little performance. Yeah. Yeah. So what does the new album sound like? If you haven't checked it out yet, here are some of the tracks on it. So if I get jealous, I can't help it. I want every bit of you. I guess I'm selfish. Cause I waited. I've been waiting forever. Fighting for this is the in sync song. Between you and I. All we need is one moment or two. I've been taking my time, it's all about timing. Cause when all steps do what they really wanna do, use your imagination. Anything can happen tonight. Use your imagination. If I had to guess. Infinity sex girls Future is a mess no he really abandoned that man in the woods sound. Yeah, he did. I, I know. He <laughs> went back to the pop R&B and fast, man. He was all over it. So uh, imagine big hits coming. He's got a couple performances coming up in South Florida as well. And we got a round of Do It Bitch here on the KVJ Show. Fun little game is next. But they saw what I saw. They went far the way I fell. But they don't know what you want. Baby, I would never tell If they knew what I know They would never let you go So guess what? I ain't never letting you go Cause your lips were made for mine And my heart would go flatline If it wasn't beating for you all the time So if I get jealous I can't help it I want every bit of you, I guess I'm selfish It's bad for my mental, but I can't fight it When you're out looking like you do, but you can't hide it No, but you in a frame, oh baby, who could blame you? Glad your mama made you Making me insane, you cannot be explained, oh you must be an angel Every time the phone rings, I hope that it's you on the other side. I wanna tell you everything, 
Everything that's on my mind And I don't want any other guys Taking my place, girl, I got too much pride I know I may be wrong But I don't wanna be right Cause your lips were made for mine And my heart would go flatline If it wasn't beating for you all the time So if I get jealous I can't help it Jealous, but I can't help it. I want every bit of you. I guess I'm selfish. Listen up, y'all, cause here's the sitch. It's time for another bout of do it, bitch. 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 Do it, do it. Okay, this is a game where KBJ Show members partner up with each other randomly. We change it from week to week, and one person is a gambler, one is a responder, and the gambler has to know how many of a certain topic their partner can get in just 10 seconds. We do a best of five, and the losing team has to pay off a punishment. Now, there are tendencies that do happen, and thank you very much to Hollywood Billy. He always lets us know. Who is the best options here? Now, today, we've got Virginia being a gambler for her team with Jaybird, the guesser. Damn it. No. When they are partnered together, they win 35% of the time in that combination. Oh, boy. Oh, please don't. I just, I don't know. It's a, it's coming back from spring break. (laughs) People are on spring break. I don't know. My brain's on spring break. (laughs) Now, Denny's is going to be the gambler with suits, and when they're partnered together, they win 70% of the time. Yes. Oh. In Suits is really running away with this. He <laughs> has a 70% win percentage. Virginia's second best at 52%. That, we don't need to hear the other ones. Suits' <laughs> percentage would be higher if he could just play with himself. If that was, <laughs> if he was just a one-man team, his percentage <laughs> yeah. would be high. We bring him down. Oh, they're always bringing him down. Every time he gets paired with me, his stats go down. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to play the odds here today. I will go with Denny's and Suits. That is my pick. And I've been pretty good lately. I am 7-1 and one on the year, and I've won 19 of the last 21. Wow. What a, wow. Wow. What a run. Much better than I was last summer. Too bad you didn't have any money on that. I know, right? It's the only thing I'm doing well right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we go. We're going to be starting off with Virginia and Jaybird. Our very first topic is TV shows set in South Florida. Virginia, how many of those can Jaybird name in 10 seconds? Oh, my. Um, uh, Jaybird can do three. 
You can do three, okay? Denny's, how many can Suits name in 10 seconds? It's tricky. I think... Jeez, so, TV shows. I'm gonna I'm gonna raise it to four. Okay, we're at four. Yeah, that's a tough one. Okay, what do you think, Virginia? You want to raise it? Or you want to call that as the gambler? We're at four now. I mean, four is so low. It is, but it's a very it tough. Sometimes tricky topic. It's a tough topic. I will tell you, it is a tough one to do. Okay, what do you want to do here? I guess I have to raise it to five. Okay, here we are at five. Denny's, this is where being the gambler gets tricky. Do you want to try to force the bird to name off five TV shows set in South Florida in 10 seconds? Or do you think your boy Suits could do more? Five. Five TV shows set in South Florida. Mm -hmm. I'll say do it, bird. Oh, good gosh. Five TV shows set in South Florida in 10 seconds. Bird, your time begins now. Ballers Miami Vice, uh, Golden Girls, uh, CSI Miami, uh, Miami Spice, uh, uh, Miami Pawn Shop. Uh, you've got uh, uh, Murder in Miami. I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Okay. Uh, four that I know of. I didn't know Miami Spice. Miami Spice, I don't and know. And then there's Miami Pawn Shop. I've just, I don't, I'm just not in the game. Yeah. Has there ever been a show called Miami <laughs> Spice? So there was, I definitely had four. No, we've got four. You needed five. I just, I tried Virginia. I, just I mean, that's a tough one. It's a tough topic. Didn't have enough in me. You do have Dexter. Yes, Dang it. that's right. It's in Miami. Um, you got Burn Notice. That's right. It's Hallandale. <sighs> mm -hmm. Uh, you got apples. Well, I mean, I guess that's how, yeah. TV show yeah. set itself for apples never fall. That just okay. Oh, it's the ones we just talked about. Apples never fall. And then that Palm Royale. Yeah. Palm Royale. Uh, you got the glades. Yep, nip tuck fresh off the boat. Okay. There Gosh. is a Miami pawn shop show where I see some eyes looking back and forth. I don't think I said that. Did I, you said Miami pawn shop. I did Miami pawn shop. Yeah. And I just Googled it. It didn't come up with the show. What are you looking at, Virginia? Is it sure, on? It's on a pawn shop in Miami? <laughs> yeah, no, there's not one that I can find anywhere. Cash Dome? <laughs> yeah, that, I, I <laughs> all right, all right. All right. <laughs> yeah, I, lost. I was believing you for a second there, Virginia. <laughs> yeah, I did it. <laughs> there was zero confidence <laughs> in there. There was too much in there. <laughs> okay, first point goes to Denny's and oh, Suits. Oh, oh, Dang, the 305 getting me. Oh. I am not Mr. 305. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, boy. Okay, next topic here is Taylor Swift ex-boyfriends. Okay, Denny's how many can Suits name in 10 seconds? Taylor Swift ex-boyfriends. Jeez, yeah. oh, I'm going to start right in the middle. I'm going to just start off at five. Going to go five. She okay. dates a lot. Yeah, she does. Virginia, how do you want to do this? You want to call him right away? Or you want to raise that? I guess we got to go to six. Gonna go to six. Denny's, what do you think about this? Six just, Taylor Swift ex boyfriends in 10 seconds. I don't think Suits can do it. I'm gonna say do a bird. Gosh. Thank God. <laughs> I just burn. didn't know Suits. I didn't know. Sorry, I got to no, you're 10. right. Your time begins now. Uh, Nick Jonas, uh, Kevin Jonas, uh, Joe Jonas, uh, <laughs> John Mayer, Jed Gyllenhaal, uh, Toby McGuire, uh, Timothy B. Schmidt. Uh, <laughs> gone. Okay, you got so three. Did, did one six. of the Jonases for yeah, sure. <laughs> finally, uh, by process of elimination, got to Joe Jonas. Uh, he got John Mayer in there and Jake Gyllenhaal. Gyllenhaal. You've also got Taylor Lautner. Lautner! Harry Styles. Styles! Calvin Harris. No. Tom Hiddleston. Eh. Matt Healy. Joe Alwyn. Nope. No. Nope. Nah. Wow, okay, you... Connor Kennedy. <laughs> Nothing. Right. Okay, not. No. That's right. just such a tough one, too. <laughs> that is a tough one. Okay. I like how he named every Jonas. <laughs> I went through all of them. Well, I knew she had a Jonas in there. <laughs> okay, so Denny's in suits, one away from a victory here and uh, doing bitch. Oh, that was I, quick. I, I it gotta, doesn't mean anything though. I gotta pull a hamstring. We gotta slow this thing down. Let's stop the bleeding. <laughs> okay, next topic is types of nuts. Types of nuts. Back to Virginia and Jaybird. Virginia, how many can Jaybird name in 10 seconds? I mean, back when we used to play the game, name that nut. <laughs> right. He 
excelled. <laughs> yeah. This is a man that knows nuts. All right. So I'll make any name. Three. Three. <laughs> he really knows them, huh? Okay, Dennis, what do you think about with suits? Oh, man. Suits and the foods. I'm going to raise it to four. Going to go to four in 10 seconds. Virginia, where are we going to go with this? Raise your call. Uh, show me five nuts. Five different types of nuts in 10 seconds. Denny's, what about suits? I think suits could do six types of nuts. Six types of nuts in 10 seconds. Virginia. <laughs> Here's where. Gets tricky now. No pun intended. It starts to get hairy. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she did. There. She did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that a Taylor Swift joke? No, Harry Nuts. Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> Bird. What? Oh, God. You are Whoa. off the grid, dog. Boy. Yeah. Mentally. Get, get Confidence ready. is low, low for dude. this one. I feel like I'm going nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? I don't Six. Know. And we're in a studio. <laughs> don't know what the question was. But. So I'm raising to six or I'm raising to seven? You're at six. You'd have to raise to seven in 10 seconds. Types of nuts. I got go to go. I got to go to seven. Okay, we are at seven. What do you want to do, Denny's? Seven nuts. Seven I, different types of nuts in ten seconds. I'll say do it, bird. I mean, why would you? I mean, they, I, I'm so not on it today. It's got to get this <laughs> to win. <laughs> why would you nuts? say nuts, bro? Bro, your time nuts, begins bro. now. Cashew, walnut, wal uh, oak. Oh my <laughs> gosh, acorn, <laughs> almond. The, the sunflower seed. Cashew! I, I, I lost it. I just I do blank. I do blank. Peanut? I know. I, 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 pecan? It's not an act. A pecan, I didn't even think about it. Oh, man. I'm just oh, not that just good. did not work well. <laughs> just not oh, that just is a monumental fail. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry, oh, man. That was you have way rough. too much faith in me. Wow. That was wow. a clean sweep. Uh, I couldn't think of almond, pecan. Okay. Pecan, I think you said almond twice. You <laughs> did. And you just said sunflower seed, and which cashew we're, we're not taking. Okay. So we've got a punishment for Virginia and Jaybird for losing. What wow. will it be? You will find out next. From the WRM at Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys Traffic Center. If you've been in an accident, call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Storm Smart provides homeowners with Storm Catcher Screens, the leading hurricane safety product on the market. Storm Smart Screens block up to 95% of rain and wind. Call 833 60Smart or go to stormsmart.com for your free consultation. We have an accident that is off to the right shoulder on 95 southbound at Lantana Road. Expect some slowdowns in the area. You've also got residual delays following a crash on 95 southbound in the area of Glades Road. Give yourself extra time there as well. And in Broward County, keep an eye out for a crash on the 95 Express Lanes. This is on the southbound side as you're approaching Sunrise Boulevard, a right express lane blocked in that area. That's traffic. I'm Suits for 97.9 WRMF. Picking a plastic surgery team that you feel safe in their hands is so important. I tell everybody, if you're thinking about any kind of body work, breast, tummy tuck, liposuction, mommy makeovers, breast explanting, go see Dr. Rankin, Dr. Bauermeister, and the female plastic surgeon, Dr. Giselle, at the Aqua Plastic Surgery Center. This team is cultivated and amazing, and they care, and they listen to their patients, and they really give beautiful results. Go see the team that they have put together, aquaplasticsurgery.com, now in Jupiter and in Boca. Feel your best. Live your best. Get your old body back. Maybe you had kids and they wrecked that body. Well, that is no challenge for the team at the Aqua Plastic Surgery Center to get you back feeling like you did before you had kids. They'll put that body back. Go see them in Jupiter or in Boca online at aquaplasticsurgery.com. Back in my day, we would camp in the backyard and tell scary stories. Except we weren't the greatest storytellers. Zero attention building. But with the Xfinity 10G network, we'll get insanely fast internet in the house and outside. So we can stream scary stories all the way out here. Ooh, this one's called The Wedding Nightmare. Fire it up! It was then that Jessica realized the airline had lost her gown. The next generation Xfinity 10G network. The future starts now. 
Save more this season when you get Xfinity Internet and Mobile. Or now through March 21st, get 150 megabit internet for just $20 a month for 12 months with no annual contract. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless plan and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply. Actual speeds vary. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. Hey, it's Kevin here from the KVJ Show, and I want to tell you about this revolutionary weight loss medicine called Revolex. It is proven to work. Now, you probably heard about semaglutide with all the celebrity buzz. It's an FDA-approved drug for weight loss, but nobody offers it like Red Mountain Weight Loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss includes full-strength semaglutide with their Revolex. But Revolex is half the price of other semaglutide medications. It comes in a full-strength daily tablet, so there's no needles, just results. Get with Revolex and get started on losing up to 15 pounds per month. Imagine shrinking your belly, hips, and thighs, all while eating a wide variety of foods like cheese, nuts, bacon, coffee, creamer, dark chocolate, and even alcohol. Red Mountain Weight Loss offers one-on-one support from medical experts so you can ensure and maintain your weight loss for life. It's available only by prescription, and you can only get it at Red Mountain Weight Loss. Now, pound 250 from your phone and use the keyword Red Mountain Weight Loss. That's pound 250, keyword Red Mountain Weight Loss. No way. World will be guns open till midnight? What? Grab me a choppy chop. Done. Ah, I forgot the cheesy yuca bites. Got it. Good looking out, bro. I didn't say they were for you, though. Pollo Tropical. Real food, real fresh, and now real late. Open till midnight. Hours may vary by location. Well, I love being in the cooling club because that means I have scheduled maintenance. That means I have scheduled tune-ups. And that means I just stay on top of everything, including my power bill. You know, with scheduled maintenance and tune-ups of your AC, courtesy of cooling advisors, you get longer life out of your system and lower energy costs. I love those two things. Cooling advisors make sure that your system is functioning at the top peak performance level, maximizing your money. I love it. Cooling advisors, family owned and operated. They care about their customers. They background screen and drug test all of their employees so you can feel safe about the team that they bring into your home. Call the company I trust, coolingadvisors.com. South Florida weather is 15 seconds away from the H. Gregg West Palm Beach Weather Center. Get ready for March Madness at hgregg.com on Military Trail. Score big savings with a slam dunk selection of pre-owned vehicles. They've got a lineup that'll make you feel like a champion on the road. hgregg.com, where every drive is a victory lap. Save more, drive happy. Rainy and a cloudy start to Tuesday as the cold front is still moving through. That's why we're dealing with this kind of weather. But more sunshine does return this afternoon. Temperatures this morning, upper 60s, low 70s. And then by this afternoon, staying cool with a high of 72 and a windy north wind. I'm WPTV First Alert Meteorologist Jennifer Correa, 97.9 WRMF. This report is sponsored by Mothers Against Drunk Driving. For victims of drunk and drug driving, our grief is unique. But you are not alone. You always have a place at MAD. Call our 24-hour victim helpline at 877-MAD-HELP or visit mad.org. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference. Call 1-800-747-FREE. What you need to know on the KVJ Show. Well, if you're not already, you need to be watching the KBJ show on KBJ TV. We're there right now. It's so easy. You know, there are people that even use the connection to YouTube on their mobile devices to get a get a clear connection when they're in their car. Of course, you don't want to watch and drive, but it is kind of a cool way to check out the KBJ show. And we're either live when we're streaming or we're always on demand. Not only the regular show, but the app of the show as well. Subscribe while you're there. And if you're watching us right now, Please click that like button. That definitely helps us out. We would greatly appreciate it. So go to kvjshow.tv or go to YouTube and look for the KVJ Show. All right, time to pay off a punishment here. Virginia and Jaybird, they lost Do It Bitch here today. Clean sweep. Dropped three in a row. So the punishment is doing a Pepto-Bismol chug. Uh, okay, we got a big old bottle of Pepto Bismol right there. It looks like the awesome generic version. <laughs> it is. Excuse me, I get choked up when talking about generic Pepto Bismol. It is a little outdated. Okay. What? It's a, a bit expired. 
It's expired. Give me that bottle. Oh, no. You income poop. Okay. How old is it? Okay. I can't see. It's, <laughs> it's, I think it, it's from it expired, October. It expires uh, December of 2022. What? <laughs> I know. 2024. Well, I mean, it's barely 2024. So really, it's a year old. It's a little over a year old. Can you get... I, sometimes I'm, with medicines too, they put an expiration on it. I mean, it's good forever. Yeah, yeah. that's all I need to hear, Kev. Right. I feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Austin's in the building. Yeah. Wouldn't it be ironic though if the Pepto Bismol gave you diarrhea? Wow. <laughs> I think I got. I'm not sure why I had. That's from me. It, I never opened it. I never used it. So I think that was. I think that's from my sister when I had COVID. She bought me a whole medical thing. So I think that's why I had it. Okay. <sighs> well, they do say you probably shouldn't use it past the expiration date. They do say who's they? Um, GoodRx.com. They sound made up. Okay. I'm just kidding. I think that's a <laughs> legit. Our, our nurses are really, they're very knowledgeable yeah. in our chat room. Mm -hmm. How sick can we really get if we're uh, drinking expired Pepto Bismol? Is it really that big of a deal or is it going to be just more of, oh, it's going to make me feel a little, it can't, it can't kill us, right? Mm -hmm. Like like an eggnog or something? I, I don't I don't know that it would uh, oh, okay. kill you. It says. Um, the tamper safe. It broke. <laughs> while I was doing <laughs> it. It may not treat your cyst, uh, symptoms well. Are we going to have the HSs? Mm -hmm. They don't guarantee the quality or efficacy of medicine past expiration. Well, we don't need it efficate. Right. We just need it. Not to make us, yeah. You need defecate. It. Defecate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does uh, just out of the, you know, with the messages coming in with mm -hmm. the good people, what are they? Any anybody? Because usually they say, Kevin, no. Uh, it says, I'm not a doctor, but they will be fine. Drink up, Buttercup. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So far, I mean, that's good, right? It's a green light. Look, I, yeah. we, we had one comment and Kevin. I feel mm -hmm. good about it. Yeah. Cheers, big ears. Cheers. All right, down the hatch. <laughs> oh, gross. Shutting down that big old cup of Pepto-Bismol, big old full cup. There you yeah, go. Yeah, I dosed Ooh. out a, a safe dosage. Yeah. There's a certain amount you can't exceed. Yeah, it's a solid, solid big old full cup of Pepto. Am I the only one? On, ugh, that is rotten. <laughs> ugh. It's you, definitely got a tang to you it. You definitely could tell that it's spoiled. Uh, it's got a tang. It, it doesn't taste right. If that did not taste. Oh no, <laughs> Virginia. I can't tell if it's because it's off brand and it's like the cheap crap mm -mm. version. There's a sourness to that, or okay. if it's just bad. It, look, I do have a medical question though. Let's yeah. say you do drink something like that and it is spoiled. When would me and Virginia start to feel signs of not feeling right? <laughs> I give it about 10, 15 minutes. That's when you would really know. It'll hit your gut. Yeah. And you know something you're rejecting or if does it's it take that bad, longer? No, I, I would say, you know, usually a good seven minutes to hit your stomach. I give it about 10 minutes to kind of kick around within 20 minutes. You're you'd right. Start to feel something. I'm being so disrespectful. How dare I question the doctor? Kevin Ross. I've been on GoodRx.com all morning. Dude, I know this stuff. I already feel sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happened right away. <laughs> yep. That doesn't taste right. No, it spoils. It's, it's it definitely is not taste right. baseball can go spoiled. Okay. <laughs> all right. Punishment is paid off. <laughs> Don't know if you're aware. Do you know it's uh, Miami Music Week this week? A lot of people who are in the EDM world love oh. this week because it's nothing but EDM music. What's coming up this weekend, Jay Bird? Oh, uh, Ultra! Ultra Music Fest! <laughs> okay! This yeah, baby! And there's going to be all kinds of pool parties throughout South Florida with EDM DJs playing poolside. But I do have a warning because there's been a column out for one big pool in South Florida and one major artist. They're not happy. I will let you know what happened right here in South Florida next on the KBJ Show. You shot a Criticize, but how I are, but it's we could say. 
Shoot me down, but I get up. I'm bulletproof, nothing to lose. Far away, far away. Ricochet, you take your aim. Far away. Come down, but it's you who have further to fall. Cause I'm want to love. Raise your voice, sticks and stones may break my bones. Talking loud, not saying much. I'm bulletproof, nothing to lose. Far away, far away. Ricochet, you take your aim. Far away. And see you there. A titanium David Guetta will be on the stage pumping his fists on Sunday night right there at Bayfront Park in Miami for Ultra Music Fest. <laughs> oh, yeah. It is Miami Music Week. You said they're doing a, a techno party by the swimming pool? Well, there's several. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's just kind of one of the big things that uh, goes on. Techno Miami and pools go together real they nice. Do. Not for yeah. me. I take off my shirt. I got my belly sticking out. Then techno is playing. It sounds like a personal <laughs> hell. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it's you know, it's it's really it's great if you're 20 years old and you've got a great body and you just your head can take that kind of pounding. Then you're like, oh yeah, I really love this stuff. But uh, yeah, I'll be starting Friday night going throughout the weekend. Just one of the many things going on. In fact, we already have all the week's activities because there's a lot of stuff, man. We are in our busy season here in South Florida with spring break and all that kind of stuff still going on. You can go to kbjshow.com or link up on our Facebook page. we got all the events that are posted up. I will tell you, though, with all the DJs and all the artists and all the celebrities are going to be in South Florida, not all pool parties are awesome. And I saw a complaint somebody is going off on both the hard rock hotel and casino and 50 cent oh. uh, this message i saw said my wife a group of friends and i went to the 50 cent concert at hard rocks pool today which was set to start at 11 a.m there were no openers and he did not come on for five hours people just stood around the pool for hours <laughs> That seems like an absurdly long time to wait in the sun. 
ultimately, most of us could not stay for the concert itself. A few of our friends have kids and were quite upset as they had gotten sitters for the day and had put a lot of effort into going to this event. Is this normal for events at the Hard Rock Pool area? Is there any possibility of getting money back? We had two friends that stayed for the show and 50 Cent's performance was clocked at 32 minutes in length. That's it? Yep. That is whack. Yeah, that's a lot of these shows, and that is tough. And keep in mind, 50 Cent, you go back to a lot of his hits, and they're 20 years ago. So if you were 20 years old and you were loving it, now you're, what, at least in your mid-30s, if not your early 40s, and that would make sense. If you love 50 Cent, you're like, we're going to a pool party. Then You're right. It's it's going to be standing around in the – and I got to tell you, man, I was out – Gosh, I got to tell you, the sun now, it is as bad as drinking alcohol. Do you get a legit hangover from the sun? I really didn't have, I think it was St. Patty's Day. Really, I had like maybe two beers the whole day. And one day I was out in the sun. One day I had two beers. I felt worse from being in the sun than I did having a couple beers. There are days when the sun really decides to go through your clothes and really cook well, your skin in a way that feels not natural. Well, I was at the spring training game. We sat in the bleachers. Which it's nothing but it's nothing but a grill for human white people like myself. <laughs> oh, Honestly, you should only be there for maybe less than an inning, like four pitches. Yeah, I heard myself sizzling. <laughs> Kevin's like one of those translucent baby lizards. Oh no, my gosh! You, 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 on a health reason, you can't you can't sit out there. It was so bad. <laughs> oh, I felt so terrible the next day. And I'm like, I didn't drink. The, the, you're talking about the day of the first pitch. Uh, the, no, this is another day. Yeah, I was there uh, during spring break. Because me and my dad were going to stay out there yeah. for the game that you we cook, were. Man, my dad was like, I don't know, man. Let's get the heck out of here. And look, I live in South Florida. I don't know how these super white people from the Midwest. And the Lou, St. Louis, come down to these Cardinal games and don't die. Oh, it was rough. So, yeah, I mean, if you're standing out by a pool for five hours, I mean, if you waited and you got there when you thought it was going to happen, five and a half, six hours, you're in the sun. Why did they put 11 o'clock as the start time and then it didn't happen until five hours later? Like, what's the disconnect there? I think what it is, they tell you because ultimately they have other DJs playing by the pool and you're standing there buying drinks. Uh, but still though i get the strategy five hours barring a plane crash mm -hmm. there's no excuse to be five hours late and i'm talking to you too madonna well i think they planned it that way i don't think 50 was late so what was that in the, the hotel has other djs booked before him to perform while you're standing around waiting and drinking and drinking and drinking and he went on probably when he was scheduled to go on but they just aren't being honest with the people that purchased mm, the tickets that's what i'm that, well, that's what i'm saying so someone's to blame you can't expect people to People are saying they thought he was going to be there and he yeah. hasn't come for five hours. There's, there's a disconnect. So many other comments that I saw on the thread. One person said, I went there for Wu-Tang and Nas. It was advertised as starting at 11 a.m. Also, some DJ played for like four hours. We were about to leave and they finally came on. It was a long day and the last time I would go there for a concert. Like 50 Cent, Wu-Tang, Nas, and most of their fans are not in their 20s anymore. Let's get the damn show going so we can all get home at a decent hour and be ready for work the next day. <laughs> well, I'm not, I don't know of any show that ever starts at 11 a.m. For, for music, unless you're going to a... Well, th this, is, this is the kind of... Th so you have the pool party concept, which, look, I, you know, my daughter still hangs out at some of the Miami clubs and goes, and, and those DJs, you know, will take the stage at 3 a.m., 4 a.m., sometimes 5 a.m. So that's expected. But, you know, she's in her early, she's getting into her mid 20s and she's starting to say, I don't know, man, it's, it's kind of rough now to go to space and have a DJ come on at 3 or 4 a.m. and stay up for that. Yeah. But yeah, people that are in their 30s or 40s now, yeah, the same concept. But yeah, we don't have the ability or the time to stand around for four to five hours waiting for an artist. What is the proper age? What is the age when you, you are allowed to start saying, ah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of tired. I don't want to wait around. Is it, Late 20s, 28, 29, yeah, you start late 20s, you're definitely feeling it. And look, I, I, I'm remembering myself and my daughter's right on the same path that I was. Mid-20s, 
it's you're not look i used to before early 20s staying up to 3 4 a.m being out the sun comes up i'm like this is awesome man <laughs> somewhere around 25 it stops being so awesome <laughs> and you're like well what am i still doing up it, it just hurts different it does it also can get kind of depressing depending on the situation you're in so another comment said what is more frustrating is that our friends went to a snoop dog show at the hard rock pool last year and they said snoop dog came on within two hours of the doors opening so oh. without consistently there's no real way of knowing if you got to devote your whole day to that kind of show or not so dare show up and be like you know what they're not gonna come off for four hours then you'd show up and be like hey man the snoop show is awesome two for snoop five for 50 like what that's it, just kind of it you don't know oh boy you have a chance to see one of those two who are you picking snoop. which one snoop or 50 uh snoop for me yeah that'd be close snoop for me too yeah i think that'd be pretty awesome so there you go so that's huh yeah just the way it goes i guess all right coming up here in just a couple of minutes got some whacked out news few uh, stories that uh, I think maybe you need to know about, uh, even if uh, you didn't get them last week. Uh, one I know you guys probably didn't hear about. Um, you might want to watch trying the bouillon if you're the West Boca Raton Medical Center. Okay. I'll tell you why All the right. bouillon there is not something you should try. Coming up next in your Whacked Out News. From the WRMF Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys Traffic Center. If you've been in an accident, call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. StormSmart provides homeowners with Storm Catcher Screens, the leading hurricane safety product on the market. StormSmart Screens block up to 95% of rain and wind. Call 833-60-SMART or go to StormSmart.com for your free consultation. We have an accident off to the shoulder on 95 southbound that is causing slowdowns on the approach to Lantana Road. Give yourself some extra time through that area. There is also another one on 95 southbound blocking the left shoulder at Woolbright Road that is causing some delays on the approach. Plus, you're tapping the brakes in the area of the West Palm Service Plaza on both sides of the turnpike and in Brown. Howard County, we have a crash to watch for that is tying you up on the Sawgrass Expressway. This one is northbound at University Drive. Look for the left shoulder blocked there. That's traffic. I'm Suits for 97.9 WRMF. A racetrack breakfast made fresh in store. They're the breakfast sandwiches you adore. Fluffy eggs and mail to cheese stacked. Bacon and sausage get your day on track. Yeah, that tracks. That's a hit that'll get your taste buds not. Get two for five dollars every day. Racetrack. Whatever gets you going. Buy two classic breakfast sandwiches for $5. Limitations apply. See store for details. At Kia Del Rey, there's something for everyone. Right now, get great deals on all new 2024 Kia models. And at Kia Del Rey, you get the best price guarantee or Kia Del Rey will pay you $500. Plus, your new Kia comes with a two-year, 24-month complimentary maintenance schedule and the industry-leading 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty on all new Kias. Local heroes, police, fire, military get half off on service or accessories. Kia Del Rey, 2255 South Federal High Highway in Delray Beach or visit KiaDelray.com. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Nothing adds crunch to a salad quite like a fresh bell pepper. If the bell peppers you're buying don't sound like this, then they're not fresh from Florida. Florida bell peppers are grown right here in the Sunshine State by our hardworking local farmers. That means they're fresher, crisper, and have a way better... Bell peppers are in season now. So look for the Fresh from Florida logo or ask for it by name where you shop. Fresh from Florida, there's sunshine in every... A true partner in your health dedicates time to understanding your needs. At Conviva Care Center, doctors make one-on-one -on -one time with you a priority so you can get all your questions answered and feel more confident in your health care. Conviva senior care experts have been helping seniors stay healthy and independent for more than 50 years. Schedule a tour today at tourconviva.com. That's tourconviva.com.
So excited. Going to see Dr. Rosenthal this weekend. Magnolia, my daughter, was talking about it, you know, on St. Patrick's Day. It was the year anniversary of her rhinoplasty with Dr. Rosenthal. She loves it. She's so happy she did it. The results were amazing. And Dr. Rosenthal was just exceptional. She barely even bruised with a rhinoplasty. It was like unfathomable for me. It was so gentle and amazing. He has the surgical hands of an angel. Dr. Rosenthal celebrating 20 years of beautiful facial plastic surgery in Palm Beach County. If you're thinking about anything face, maybe you want to do one of those face lifts, the lower lift, the neck lift, eyelids. They do it all. And he's so gentle and amazing. You'll be so happy you went with him. Dr. Rosenthal, go to rosenthal-md.com, celebrating 20 years of beautiful facial plastic surgery. rosenthal-md.com. AutoBuy's newest division, AutoBuy Elite, offering the white glove service to purchase your BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Bentley, Rolls-Royce, any exotic and antique collectible automobile right from your home or office with AutoBuy's newest digital technology, giving you the elite customer service. That's AutoBuy's newest division, AutoBuy Elite, offering the white glove service to purchase your BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Bentley, Rolls-Royce, any exotic and antique collectible automobile right from your home or office with AutoBuy's newest digital technology, giving you the elite customer service. Strax Aesthetics unlocks the secret to great cosmetic surgery. Have surgery now and pay later. Breast augmentations and tummy tucks less than $150 per month for qualified patients. Extreme weight loss with a gastric sleeve procedure. The Strax Med Spa offers Botox for $9.99 per unit and unbeatable prices on Juvederm. Guaranteed to beat any comparable quote. Schedule a free face-to-face consultation with your actual board-certified surgeon. Saturday appointments available too. Visit StraxPlastics.com or call 954-749-3040 for more info. Hey, Florida, are you ready to meet Birch Lane? It's Megan, and I am so excited. The first ever Birch Lane stores are now open, where you can shop high-quality classic furniture and decor in person. Don't miss the grand opening sales all month long. Plus, get expert help on home projects with free design services. It's classic style for joyful living. Shop Birch Lane, a Wayfair specialty brand at Meisner Park in Boca Raton and at birchlane.com. Hey, it's Suits from the KVJ Show, and you have heard me talk about how great I feel after doing the Coastal Weight Loss Secret Program. I've dropped 30 pounds in just two months. Mike and Michelle from Boynton did the program, too, and they're joining me today. Now, Michelle, how much weight have you lost so far? 34 and a half pounds. And how about you, Mike? 53 pounds in 60 days. That is incredible. And I got to tell you, after doing the program, I know I felt so much better. So how has your life improved? Well, my clothes fit. I can wear things I haven't been able to wear in months. I have a lot more energy. My joints aren't swollen. I'm not feeling that pain that I used to feel. How about you, Mike? I feel fantastic. I have a physical job and I feel I'm able to do my job better. What is it you love most about Coastal Weight Loss Secrets? The simplicity of the program, really. It makes everything, especially if you're working, so much easier. You can prep in advance. We have a weekly coaching and I always feel energized after talking to him. He's mm-hmm. super in. Yeah. He's excited about your success. Well, Mike and Michelle, congratulations on all your success. Schedule a free consultation today with Dr. Zuckerman and you will see what we're talking about. 561-680-3090 or schedule that consultation online at CoastalWeightLawsSecret.com. Over the spring break, me and the kids went to Berry Fresh Cafe for brunch. I love it because I know it's delicious, farm to table, amazing, locally sourced food. You know, our friends at Berry Fresh Cafe, the same people that used to own RJ Gators, are a scratch kitchen. They locally source all of their food. It's delicious, amazing, locally sourced ingredients, and you'll taste the difference. Breakfast, brunch, or lunch, they've got the best deal in town and the best food in town at Berry Fresh Cafe. And if you're like me and you love a little mimosa, how about their mimosa flights, their Bloody Mary flights, fresh pressed juices, and that mega, mega, mega mimosa. I love it. Berry Fresh Cafe for the most delicious breakfast, brunch, or lunch. Eat fresh and buy local. It just tastes better. In Stewart, in Jupiter, in Port St. Lucie, and the brand new location in Palm Beach Garden, We'll see you there at Berry Fresh Cafe. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference. Call 1 800 747 free. From the Greenway Kia of West Palm Beach Studio. We want to see you in a Greenway Kia. This is 97.9 WRMF Palm Beach. 
now. <laughs> There's a lot of dumbass criminals to talk about, baby. It's the whacked out news. People breaking the law. Ha <laughs> ha, fighting in the nude. Ha <laughs> drunk people pooping in the street. Ha <laughs> ha, it's the whacked out news. <laughs> so many people are meth. Ow! Whatever you do, don't get the bully on. Just don't get the bully on. Because I got nothing against bullion, but Virginia, that ain't bullion. What was it? Well, this is a tough story, and of course, there is a lawsuit that's going on, and I think deservedly so. A food service worker at West Boca Raton Medical Center is accused of telling a patient that a drink in a plastic cup was bullion. It ain't bullion. What it's was it? Urine. Oh Ugh. my gosh. They serve people urine? The patient's son, who was testing the drink to make sure it was cool, allegedly became violently ill after drinking the bodily fluid, it says. Oh, my gosh. Randall Tompkins Jr. was in his father's room at West Boca Medical Center when a food service employee at the hospital delivered a tray which contained food and drink to the bedside of the plaintiff's father. The food service employee announced that the drink was bouillon. The plaintiff then, in an effort to check the temperature of the bouillon before serving it to his dad, took a sip of it and then immediately realized that ain't bouillon. He then spit the urine out, but was shocked and sickened in the process. Oh, my gosh. No explanation on how it ended up on a food service tray. And now there is a lawsuit seeking in excess of $50,000. Yeah. Yeah, feel right? Yeah. Honestly, right. look, feels a little low. Feels a little low. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. I'll go with you there. We got to make sure we don't mix up the soup and the urine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's in a bouillon? It's like a broth. It can be like a chicken bouillon or it can be like a beef bouillon. It so can it, be like, it's like, like broth. It's more, it's just another name for broth? Yeah. Okay. It's a base you can buy it and just drink it plain. Mm -hmm. Vegetable bouillon. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, if it's not bouillon at the hospital, it might be another sauce at Chipotle. 26-year-old manager at a Chipotle in Pennsylvania has been suspended after allegedly, one way to put it would be punching the clown in front of people in a booth inside the restaurant. That's not very Chipotle-like. Flogging the dolphin. <laughs> Wow. Still Dude. roughing up the suspect. Roughing up the burrito. Yeah. <laughs> Are you drunk? Are you mentally ill? Or do you just not care? Wow. I mean, you're right. If you're neither of the two, then you're... What's going on? You're per a pervert. Burritos make you horny? Hmm. That, I, that I, I understand that. <laughs> I get that. He has since been charged with indecent assault, indecent exposure, open lewdness, disorderly conduct, and harassment. And Chipotle said that they intend to dismiss him. <laughs> Come on. Chipotle, go ahead and just say you're fired. Maybe he hasn't yet. What is taking so long? I don't think he should not make it out of the restaurant without being fired, right? <laughs> it's a three-strike policy restaurant. I don't know. Don't let him strike it three times. No. <laughs> 19 year old Ashton Jarvis fled cops on his motorcycle in a multi city chase in Volusia County. It's everything you want, though, because the guy who is on the motorcycle has this long flowing mullet. Oh, sweet. The mullet made him do it. He's on his motorcycle. He's hitting speeds of up to 145 miles an hour. Yeah, mullet's going to mullet. They got that ghetto bird, the helicopter is following him around from county to county. And he's got a license plate on his motorcycle that says, we'll run. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, apparently the cops started circling him in a patrol cruiser when they backed him into a corner. And he said, okay, what happens if I stop? Officer pulls out his taser. Jarvis got off his motorcycle, and they had this little exchange. Somebody just tried to step out with him. He stopped at 2nd and Oak. Two units making contact, one at gunpoint. Oh, man, was that fun? No, not really. Did you see the tag? No, yeah, what's it say? I like to run. run. Oh, yeah. Good job, man. <laughs> Good job, man. <laughs> Will run. He said, where's the real license plate? He said, that was, at, uh, that was at home. So he thought the Will run was kind of funny. If you're going to be <laughs> running from cops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, this is not fun. You just go out in the woods and you get shot. A 
apparently somebody thought this man was a turkey. I don't they mean the bird or just a turkey, like a jive turkey. Mm. Likely excuse. I swear, I thought I was a turkey. This happened in uh, Bunnell, Florida. A hunter was out there and said that he saw three female turkeys on the road and followed them until he saw a male turkey. Then he fired and heard, Ow, I've been shot. That he- wasn't a turkey. That was your hunting buddy. <laughs> that, was- <laughs> that was your hunting buddy, Frank. That was your jive turkey. <laughs> <laughs> This happens a lot where hunters shoot each other. He realized what he'd actually seen was a male turkey decoy in the low light. So he (laughs) shot another guy. I don't know if the other guy was hunting or what was going on. But what an excuse, though. You got some beef with somebody. You guys go on a hunting trip. Oh, I shot Kevin. I thought he was a turkey. Yeah. (laughs) I'm not allowed. Didn't somebody do that? Was it uh, Cheney? Didn't he shoot somebody? Oh, the old vice president, Dick Cheney? Yeah. I think so. On yeah. a hunting trip. Yeah. I think he did. Yeah, there's some politicians you don't want to go uh, hunting with. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I want to go hunting. No. <laughs> yeah, so he was uh, airlifted to the hospital in Daytona Beach. Condition is unknown at this moment. So Dang. See, apparently it struck him in the head. Oh. Ooh. Yikes. That's not a good place to get shot. No, it's not. I thought it was just a gobbler. Mm hmm. Yep. Got to watch if you're playing a little ding dong ditch in Utah. A 71 year old man was arrested because he shot at six teenagers. He admitted that he fired a paintball like gun and claimed he didn't actually aim it at the kids, but he has been arrested nonetheless. Wow. You can really mess with someone's mind, though, doing that. Yeah. So someone did that back in the day to our family, and they mm-hmm. would do it. One o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, and it freaks you out. Right. You, ding. Open the door, and it's just rain. No one's there. Horrifying. There's a 27 year old woman in South Carolina who was arrested earlier this month after a neighbor complained that she was in her front yard screaming and doing jumping jacks topless. <laughs> She was charged with obscene exposure. She sounds fun. I mean, I'm not going to hate on a neighbor like that. Now, there's no mention of drugs or any other issues, but she has harassed other neighbors in the past. In November, she and her boyfriend, Warden Butler, were accused of burning a cross, allegedly to intimidate some black neighbors. Oh. Uh, way wow, to go, right. South Carolina. Nope. 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 Well, if you want a side job, Antarctica is hiring some penguin counters. <laughs> this is going to be hard to count. Now, the job would last five months. It doesn't pay much, and there's no running water, no showers, no flushing toilets, limited power, and absolutely no cell phone service. Ooh, where do I sign up? Not going to lie, though. I got caught watching a penguin video, and 35 minutes later, I'm still watching in Virginia. I feel like they'd be hard to count, though. Mm-hmm. They all kind of look the same. They and you're do. Like, Wait, I already counted that one. Yeah. Or did I? They're adorable. <laughs> they move so cute. They do move cute. Well, Make a Mom is an at home artificial insemination kit that sells for $250. They say the semen stealing kit includes syringe like intracervical insemination devices, semen container cups, and fertility supplements. Their tagline is Make him a dad without his permission. Oh, damn. Some customers online, though, claim that they never even received what they paid for. Huh. Unethical people being robbed by unethical people. <laughs> what are the odds, huh? Do they cancel each other out? <laughs> well, you, what, you can't call the cops. What are you going to do? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was trying to trap this man. <laughs> the uh, CEO says we take full responsibility and are looking into our advertising strategies, we don't want to be known by anything less than ethical. Oh, gosh. (laughs) (laughs) Well, speaking of which, I don't know if you guys had heard, but uh, while we were on our little break, Tyree Kill, wide receiver for the Miami Dolphins, had another issue. Another claim and some more trouble in paradise between he and his wife. Another claim? Another claim, yes. But apparently everything's okay, according to Tyreek. I'll tell you what happened and why. It's all good now. Coming up next. Let me tell you. You my little boo thing. So I don't give a hoot what you do. Say, girl, I know. You a little too tight. I'll be shooting that shot like 2K, girl, I know. Tell him I'm telling him I'm next. Tell him you find a little something too fresh, I know. Tell him I'm telling him I'm next. Tell him you find a little something too fresh, I know. 
Put a little gold in the teeth and the fit good, so I took the doors off the deep. Okay, I see a brother holding your seat, no beef, but I'm trying to get the noise you at least don't take my talking to your own. I can keep it chill like the Sophie on Blunt. I'ma keep it real when your man long gone. If you're looking for a friend, then you got the wrong song. Baby girl, what's good? What's with ya? If you book tonight, that's fiction. I'm outside, no pictures. You want me? Go figure. Up to the back, to the front. You a 10, baby girl, but I'm the one. Hey, up to the back. To the front, you a 10, baby girl, but I'm the one, one. You my little boo thing, so I'll give a hoot what you do, say, girl, I know. You a little too tame, I'll be shooting that shot like 2K, girl, I know. Tell him I'm, tell him I'm next, tell him you find a little something too fresh, I know. Tell him I'm, tell him I'm next, tell him you find a little something too fresh, I know. Hey, girl, you got me. I'm singing, it's like... Oh, oh, you got the best of mine. Oh, oh, you got the best of mine. I, oh, oh, you got the best of mine. Oh, oh, you got the best of mine. You my little boo thing. So I'll give a hoot what you do, say, girl, I know. You a little too tame. I'll be shooting that shot like 2K, girl, I know. Tell him I'm, tell him I'm next. Tell him you find a little something too fresh, I know. Tell him I'm, tell him I'm next. Tell him you find a little something too fresh, I know. Well, I got to tell you, Tyree Kill's really been racking in the action here lately. He's been fathering a lot of kids, and he's been having a lot of domestic issues with his new wife, Keita Vaccaro. And while we were on our spring break, apparently there was a story to come out about another domestic issue that happened on January 30th. Now, we did hear a little bit about that post-nuptial that Tyree Kill, apparently after getting married on a whim during the regular season for the NFL, decided or at least heard that you know what dude did you ever sign a prenup no well you better give her this post nup and a lot of his handlers are saying look man that's not smart considering how much money you make and your highest paid wide receiver in the nfl to get married without any kind of prenuptial agreement so needless to say i guess keto wasn't uh, real keen on signing the post nup hmm. no wives ever are because the post nup is just him trying to figure out how he can keep his money when he leaves you. He's planning the leave right. part. That's why he wants the post up. You lost. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't get it on the pre, you're just probably SOL, bruh. You, you didn't win the big game. <laughs> So apparently Tyreek is trying to get his wife Keita to sign this post-nuptial agreement, and she is refusing. So things escalated a little bit. To the point where apparently Tyreek Hill smashed an unlit cigar in her face. And at the time, she was on the phone with her cousin who called 911 after hearing Hill screaming at Vaccaro. The police show up and she tells them that she felt bullied, threatened, and verbally abused. Oh, boy. In the exchange. Now, Tyreek said he simply flicked the cigar and denied that it actually struck her. So there's a little different story here. He also admitted that the couple had been arguing because his reps had told him that, dude, you need to get that post up signed pretty quick. So where is the status of their marriage? I don't know, because this went down, if you're looking time-wise, January 30th. And just about two weeks ago, which would have been after this exchange, Tyreek Hill was on the Pivot podcast talking about how he's turned his life around. Now, he's had a lot of issues. You know, he had the thing where he got uh, froggy with the dude on that uh, boat slip. Remember, they had that disagreement that was yes, going on. He had issues yes. when he was coming into the league. He's fathered, what, like two, three kids, something like that, here in the last year or so. There's uh, outstanding claims as we speak. Yes, but apparently everything's going to be all good with the Dolphins wide receiver now because he's turned his life back to God. I just had like a couple bad years of just losing myself like I feel like I lost my true I lost my true self you know what I'm saying like from what my grandparents raised me to be when I when I entered the league and I, I completely forgot you know my relationship with God and it really showed when, when I first got into the league that's when I met my wife that was before Tyreek here before anything and then we got engaged and I was married and I kind of had a few rough years where I said I lost my relationship with God, and I fell off. And then I just told myself, man, as, as the years went on, 
you got to make a commitment to God, bro, at some point, because he has given you all these great things and you have yet to serve him the same way your grandparents taught you. And starting at the beginning of last year, when I got signed with the Dolphins, I made a commitment to myself, me and my wife. I said, we're going to build our relationship with God. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go to church every Sunday and every Wednesday. And I, and I have been doing that. Um, I'm going to clean my life up. No partying, no girls. And everything's it's been perfect, man. Like everything I, I've ever wanted. Huh. I maybe would add cigars on that list. Well, he said that he uh, turned it around when he signed with the Dolphins, right? I think according to that clip. I think his timeline's a little loose. Yeah. <laughs> I think it, I think him and Keita probably went through some good times and bad times. And when they were separated or when they were going through the bad times and they weren't together, he was probably hooking up with a lot of other individuals. The mm -hmm. good thing is, though, found God. It's all of, <clears throat> all of the system. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure everything's in a good grade. Yeah, I just, uh, I don't know. I mean, hey, we always got to keep working at it, but apparently Tyreek is. The question is, have we heard the last of his domestic issues or is this just another chain and the link of stories of what we've heard since he's well, been in Miami? I mean, you, we've heard celebrities, this is the playbook. This is when you, yeah. when everything looks bad, you yep. either, you find God, yep. you do a big charity event. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Find there's, something. There's a playbook. Make a big donation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, coming up here in a couple of minutes, uh, we have kicked into our March Madness bracket. Last year, we did all things awesome, so this year we're doing all things awful. <laughs> We've had some great submissions, even since we talked about it earlier this morning. We're trying to get to 64 before we put the bracket up, maybe even later today. I'll let you know some of the newer submissions next. More KVJ next on 97.9 WRMF. Hard Rock Bet presents Legal in Florida. You can bet the game of hard rock bet. No more betting inside your head. Now hard rock bet is legal in Florida. Now hard rock bet is legal in Florida. Legal in Florida. It's safe, it's legal. We'll repeat that it is legal. Top friends, sports book, and it's the only one is legal. Get a no regret first bet up to $100 when you sign up now. Offered by the Seminole Tribe of Florida. Must be 21 and over and physically present in Florida to wait. Terms and conditions apply. Concerned about gambling? Please call 1 888 admit it. When you use bounce dryer sheets and your clothes look amazing, it's the sheet. Less static in your life? Yeah, it's the sheet. Smelling fresher than ever? It's the sheet. Oh, so soft fabric? Ooh la la. It's the sheet. Less wrinkles on your clothes? You know it's the sheet. Bounce dryer sheets. More freshness, more softness. Less static, less wrinkles. It's the sheet. Get ready for an out-of-this-world space adventure inspired by NASA missions with space explorers, the Infinite, at the Kravis Center, June 4th through September 2nd. Embark on the International Space Station and join the crew of astronauts for a spacewalk that'll leave you changed forever. Don't miss the chance to discover this unique immersive experience. The Infinite, June 4th through September 2nd at the Kravis Center. We did something last year that I am telling everybody, you need to do this. I told my friend this a few weeks ago when we were out partying and he was like, man, I don't know about my heart. It runs in my family. I'm like, just go, go to Life Imaging FLA, do the free heart scan. It's a 699 value with just a few minimum requirements. You can get the peace of mind knowing that either you have something going on or you don't. If you have something going on, you deal with it before you have a heart attack yeah and it's not even just about your heart too they do cancer screening and they even got virtual colonography which i know a lot of people over the age of 45 need to do you don't have to worry about sedation with this it really is amazing the advancements in technology it's a low dose ct scanner that looks inside of your body and tells you what's going on in there i love the medical advancements at life imaging fla and right now they're offering you a free heart scan with a few minimum requirements when you call from your cell pound 250 and say the keyword free heart scan that's pound 250 keyword free heart scan 
I'll tell you, there's never been a better time to upgrade to a new Kia. It's Nick Rivers with inventory levels the best they've been in years. Greenway Kia of West Palm Beach, highly motivated to make some deals that other dealers won't. Drive home in a new 2024 Kia Forte for only $219 a month. 24-month lease with $27.99 due at signing. Plus, all new Kias come with a 10-year, 100,000-mile limited warranty. Are you unsure about your credit? Forget it. Get pre-qualified online without affecting your credit score at GreenwayKiaWestPalmBeach.com. Plus, and they want your old car. Bring in any trade. Get up to a $5,000 discount off any select new Kia stocks. Only at Greenway Kia of West Palm Beach. Call 800 new Kias. Follow them on Facebook or online. GreenwayKiaWestPalmBeach.com. And remember, we want to see you in a Greenway Kia. Qualified applicants through KMF. 10,000 miles per year. Security deposit waived. Plus tag tag and $9.99 admin fee. Negative equity refinance. Discount includes all factory rebates to dealer. Warranty is a limited powertrain warranty. See Kia.com or retailer for details. Offers don't combine. Expires May 5th. Rainy and a cloudy start to Tuesday as the cool front is still moving through. That's why we're dealing with this kind of weather, but more sunshine does return this afternoon. Temperatures this morning, upper 60s, low 70s, and then by this afternoon, staying cool with a high of 72 and a windy north wind. I'm WPTV First Alert Meteorologist Jennifer Correa, 97.9 WRMF. Sponsored by Fuse Specialty Appliance. The Fuse Specialty Appliance's spring clearance sale event is Saturday, March 23rd at the Deerfield Warehouse just off 95 and Hillsboro Boulevard. Up to 70% off premium appliances. Shop online now for the same incredible discounts. Visit FuseSpecialtyAppliances.com for more information. Follow the KVJ Show on TikTok at KVJ Show. Yeah, they know they can't dance. Or can they? Hmm. Now back to the KVJ Show on 97.9 WRMF. Well, every year for March Madness, as the NCAA men and women do 64 teams in their bracket, we do 64 things in ours. Last year, we did all things awesome, things like pizza and money and friends and puppy dogs. This year, we're doing all things awful, things like cancer, traffic and diarrhea. It's all going to be in our bracket. We just got to figure out how we rank these things because the... Worse something is, the higher seed it needs to be. So that means it would be favored to be up there. And I feel like cancer should be a number one seed. Would you not agree? Yeah. I, I agree, but in the okay. same breath, I did, I did not see murder. And I think murder is a... It, it's not good. Well, we'll add it to the list because we still were looking for 14 more additions to what we talked about earlier this morning on the show. Tell me how you feel about this, because this would be getting close to rounding out our list. We'll add murder in there, because you're right. That is one awful thing. Murder is god-awful, absolutely. Somebody suggested pink eye. Pink eye got awful, right? Oh. I mean, look. If Virginia you, knows how bad that if is. You really, it's terrible. If you really have it, it, it is awful. Yeah. Pink eye's bad. I wrote down a few more, too. Hemorrhoids. Yes, we could definitely add that, no doubt. Mm -hmm. Old people, for whatever reason, love talking about their hemorrhoids. They, they do. do. They love, they it. love okay. it. All right. Car accidents. Yeah, that's that's they're absolutely awful. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Car accidents are terrible. Nobody likes that. Some of the other uh, suggestions that uh, we had. Somebody put down snowbirds. Oh. Mm, okay. Paper cuts. Oh, I hate those. Erectile dysfunction. <laughs> that's not that's not awesome. Waiting on hold. Don't love it. Daylight saving time. DMV. Mm-hmm. Chipping your front tooth. <laughs> or knocking one out doing a bit on the air. Although I kind of I would I wouldn't change that actually. Yeah, <laughs> it was a great video. Yeah, never mind. So those are some of the ones that uh, we have to go with. A lot of the other fun ones that we had earlier, things like inflation, rent, taxes, HOAs, robocalls, STDs, arguing politics. A lot of those things we already had covered. I know it's probably not going to get on the list, but I have to say it. Grape nuts. I'm so I, I'm going nuts, so okay. hard on grape nuts. Grape nuts. Okay. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> well, this is where we are. I mean, we got to get to 64, and I think we have maybe four or five slots that we got to uh, fill out. And look, some of the ones that are 60 and below, you know, they're probably going to get bounced out pretty quick. And there's an element of a trying to be fun too. On some well, the whole them. thing is supposed to be fun because yeah, some people are getting really dark with it. <laughs> yeah, like I- it's not. <laughs> I, I agree. There's a lot of things that are, yeah. You know, more than I mean, I, I feel like we kind of touched on that with murder and cancer, so we kind of got a few things there. But <laughs> yeah. how dark do we have to get? It gets pretty dark to where we might, it, it, we couldn't even talk about. How it. dare you put and uh, not put sex trafficking on exactly. there? I'm like, you're right. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Beheading. Yeah. Beheading. It does start to get. Yeah. No, you're right. There's some sick things. Yeah, that- some really sick. God awful, terrible things that you could do, but it's it's cannibalism. Yeah. I mean, that one I would say would be pretty good to put on the list. But then again, is that is that also murder? Are we dancing on two? You can kill somebody and not eat them. Yeah, that would be horrific. <laughs> yeah I, I think there's, uh, that's uh, like, if we're doing a horrific bracket, <laughs> this is awful. This is, it's just awful. It's not horrific. That is why I did mention murder to kind of try to make that under one umbrella of okay. just the most evil. Just all of it. Okay. What about war? Um, or, or is someone going to say, "Bird, we need war sometimes." Don't forget uh, about prison rape. Oh, gee, see, that's yeah, I think what, we're going more in the horrific, not as funny, <laughs> haha. That's what I was kind of hard to. Yeah, that was what I was afraid was going to happen. To, somebody suggested alimony. Like that's more of okay, you know, that's that's awful, but yeah, it's not on the horrific. Oh my gosh, that's just dark. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if we want dark. Got you. I'm, I'm, I'm with Ross. But it, it, I think we a, want mild annoyances. It is a fine line, though, where because murder is pretty heavy. Because then we're having to ingest, like, as we're talking and trying to have fun banter about, oh, I don't know, man. I really think that uh, pedophilia is worse than <laughs> it's bad. War, yeah. How about famine? Yeah. <laughs> We're trying to have a fun, uplifting, fun conversation about what what uh, what trumps that. Yeah, people would tune in, and be like, "What are you sick people doing?" I would listen to that. Yeah. Oh, you would, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's your kind of radio. <laughs> the Miami Dolphins' uh, ability to keep players. Put that on the list. Uh, Virginia's ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You set me up, dog. <laughs> Chemical castration. Uh, you're right. It's bad. Thankfully, I think we're close enough. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think we're done with ideas. You said you needed more ideas, but I think we're good. Well, I saw her writing down. I did until, yeah. I'm I like, saw, no, I think it's, let's just end this. She's got a long list, and it started to scare me. Yeah. <laughs> I think at this point, it's time to tap out. All right. We'll get that done. We'll get the final 64 posts that you can start uh, voting for who you think is winning in the head-to-head battles in our March Madness uh, bracket. So this uh, fun little uh, note about March Madness. I don't know if you guys uh, even remember uh, this dude. He was a big announcer that uh, used to be on CBS and he used to actually live, I think it was in uh, Palm Beach Gardens, uh, Brett Musburger. Yeah. You remember that dude? Yeah. I do. Yeah. He used to do a lot of commentary and then I think he went to Vegas. He does a lot of the uh, sports gambling stuff now. So he had talked about, I guess, of everything he's done in his career, he also is the dude that coined the phrase March Madness huh. in basketball, which now is trademarked, by the way. And I'm wondering if he got a bite of that. Did they give him a cut? Or if they cut him out because he said he was the first to use it. And he actually got the idea from a car dealer's newspaper ad in Illinois where he worked as a sports reporter. He was in Chicago before he went to the major network. Huh. So who would own that? Because I believe that whoever it is, March Madness NCAA took that trademark, but should not the car dealer or Brett Musburger have some kind of claim to it? I think whoever legally has it trademark owns it. So if he came up with it and he didn't trademark and someone else did, I don't think there's anything they can do about it. I wonder if you'd still have a case saying, no, 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 no. They trademarked it, but I'm the one that did it. Well, I, how does that stuff work? Because yeah. if you, well, let's say you had a broadcast of him saying it right. uh, f- five or six times mm-hmm. before they trademarked it. Isn't it in a sense what he did kind of trademarking it there? Good question. We need a, we need some kind of uh, attorney to uh, call us up. Oh, that attorneys. understands media law. Put that on the list of bad things. Attorney's fees. True. 
Yeah, I she's still going. I took <laughs> business law for a half a semester at Northwood University. Now the university is no longer. It's defunct. It's defunct. <laughs> Along with your uh, bogus ass you degree. What happens when you have a diploma from a school that goes out of business? <laughs> <laughs> your business school went out of business. <laughs> that tells you how broke down your degree is. Thank God I got my degree at FAU. I left. Uh, I know somebody who has a degree from Northwood, Northwood University. That's a great question. A business degree. None of my credits transferred to FAU. None. So, something. Was Odd, there some huh? red flags there, Bird? Yeah. Fishy, fishy. Mm -hmm. Odd, right? <laughs> well, coming up here in a couple of minutes, got some bad news for intermittent fasting and those who try the practice coming up in just a few. Got good news, though, for Ariana Grande. Doing really well with her new album and kind of a cool thing that you might appreciate. She was able to set a new Billboard record. I'll tell you what it is after Yes And. Uh, good week for Ariana Grande. Her new album, Eternal Sunshine, debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 chart. That is her sixth album to go number one. Wow. Girl from Boca is doing pretty well, huh? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, not too bad for her. So congratulations to Boca Raton's very own in that. She also was able to get another feat. Her grandmother, Marjorie, just set a new record on the Billboard Hot 100, becoming the oldest artist ever to have appeared on the Billboard Hot 100, dating back to 1958. They call her Nuna. That is a name that uh, she has for her. And she's 98 years old, Virginia. Oh, good for Nuna. How about that, huh? It's your grandma's cute, isn't it? Your grandma's cooler though. My grandma's a hundred, so in your face, Nuna. Right, right. Suck yeah. it, Nuna. <laughs> yeah, they say that uh, Ariana had recorded her grandmother on her phone, giving relationship advice, and then used the audio on the song "Ordinary Things," and it debuted at number fifty-five on the chart. Yeah, 
I liked what I did that with my mom back in 2005, Virginia. <laughs> I think you guys are missing the part of hitting the billboard chart. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, those I think are things we don't like to talk about, yeah. Kevin. Uh, <laughs> here is a bit of Nuna on the song. Never go to bed without kissing goodnight. It's the worst thing to do. Don't ever, ever do that. And if you can't and if you don't feel comfortable doing it, you're in the wrong place. Get out. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Gosh, she's never met my family. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, there are times when you should not be speaking to that person right before you go to bed. <laughs> it's the worst <laughs> thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got some bad news for intermittent fasters. They say users of that so-called 16-8 diet, where you eat only during an eight-hour window and then you fast the other 16 hours in the day, they say they are at an increased 91% risk of dying from heart disease compared to those who eat over 12 or 16-hour periods. Wait a minute. Starving yourself for long periods of time? It's not healthy? Sounds like if you've got a cardiovascular illness, this is the person who definitely should not be doing this. They say that... Those who ate in a window of time lasting between eight and 10 hours a day have a 66% higher risk of dying from heart disease or stroke. Do you still do that stuff or are you kind of getting out of that game? Mine's not the 16, eight. I will do uh, anywhere from 12 to 14. Pretty much. I do try to give a little bit of a gap to let my body. It's not so much about the weight as it is just letting my body process all the food and everything. So I, when you know, you're not going to be eating for another, you know, a long time, that last bite you eat, do you savor it and kind of just prolong it going down your throat? Nope. Knock it on down and move about my day and do more prep. <laughs> That's He's it, a baby. machine. I know. You're you're so human. He's not a big Got no human. Time for savoring. We're both machines, but just different kind. Of, I'm a vending machine. <laughs> <laughs> and prior research has also found that if you're an intermittent faster, time restricted eating is no better than just calorie counting. Here, here. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> the, the calories, no matter when you eat them in a 24 hour period, they're still the calories. Yeah, true. Absolutely. It, it, me and Denny's, we talk about all the time the, the times we've lost weight is when we put less food in our body and we moved more. It's crazy weird how, how that works. It is weird how that works. <laughs> weird how that works. I know, huh? KVJ. More in minutes on 97.9 WRMF. Why sell your car at WeBuyAnyCar.com? Because selling it yourself can be, well, you know. Okay, I'll give you half now. And? No, and just half. What? Avoid the hassle. Come to WeBuyAnyCar instead. Get in, get out, and get paid at a fair price. Yeah, I can't do half. I could probably bump it up to like 50%. Just go. Okay. Get your free online valuation now at WeBuyAnyCar.com. Demand Dave, 844-4111 Law. Demand Dave, for car accident or slip and fall. Need a personal injury lawyer? Yeah. Comrades, comrades. Make the call, 844-4111 Law. Business, it's not a nine to five proposition. It's all day and into the night. It's all the things that keep this world turning. And behind every one of these businesses, is a partner like Comcast Business helping to keep it all moving. It's why the local flower shop and your favorite pizza joint, the startup in the stadium, hospitals and hotels, banks and restaurants nationwide. All these businesses choose the advanced network, cybersecurity solutions, and round-the-clock trusted partnership from Comcast Business. From Main Street to Wall Street, our people are powering the businesses that power it all. So when you're ready to unlock what's possible for your business, there's no one better to answer the call. Comcast Business, powering possibilities. Restrictions apply. Call or visit ComcastBusiness.com to learn more. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. And we're Anajar and Levine. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference by calling us with any of your legal needs. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In office, West Palm Beach. 
At Kia Del Rey, there's something for everyone. Right now, get great deals on all new 2024 Kia models. And at Kia Del Rey, you get the best price guarantee or Kia Del Rey will pay you $500. Plus, your new Kia comes with a two-year, 24-month complimentary maintenance schedule and the industry-leading 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty on all new Kias. Local heroes, police, fire, military get half off on service or accessories. Kia Del Rey, 2255 South Federal Highway in Delray Beach or visit KiaDelRay.com. Every March, Jersey Mike's turns money from subs into charitable donations. And March 27th is Jersey Mike's annual day of giving, where 100% of sales from every sub are given back to the community. And to kick off all that giving, Peter gave me an apron. I'm honored. Looking good, Danny. We've got subs to make, though. Yeah. Now I know why you gave me the apron. <laughs> Join us Wednesday, March 27th, for Jersey Mike's Day of Giving. Be a sub above. You ever thought about doing a LASIK procedure? About 10 years ago, I had, but I was worried about several different things. I was worried that I could afford it. I was worried that it was going to hurt. I was worried that I had enough vacation time to get the whole process done. I wish I could have talked to me 10 years in the past to know that it's one of the easiest things you'll ever do. You can afford it. It's more affordable than you think. Plus, at Panu Laser, they have a payment plan where you don't need any money for a full year because it is zero down and zero interest. I wish I would have known that it doesn't hurt at all. Lasers do all the work. And Dr. Mutiello there has performed over 10,000 LASIK procedures with only brand new state-of-the-art lasers. So you're in the best hands possible. Your whole procedure takes 90 seconds and I was back to work the very next day. And they got convenient locations all over South Florida. So what are you waiting for? Book that free consultation today. Tell them that Kevin from the KBJ Show sent you and they'll take $500 off. Go to PanuLaser.com. That's P-A-N-N-U Laser.com. Strax Aesthetics unlocks the secret to great cosmetic surgery. Have surgery now and pay later. Breast augmentations and tummy tucks less than $150 per month for qualified patients. Extreme weight loss with a gastric sleeve procedure. The Strax Med Spa offers Botox for $9.99 per unit and unbeatable prices on Juvederm. Guaranteed to beat any comparable quote. Schedule a free face-to-face consultation with your actual board-certified surgeon. Saturday appointments available too. Visit StraxPlastics.com or call 954-749-3040 for more info. Hey, Florida, are you ready to meet Birch Lane? It's Megan, and I am so excited. The first ever Birch Lane stores are now open, where you can shop high-quality classic furniture and decor in person. Don't miss the grand opening sales all month long. Plus, get expert help on home projects with free design services. It's classic style for joyful living. Shop Birch Lane, a Wayfair specialty brand at Meisner Park in Boca Raton and at birchlane.com. Well, the anti-aging game is such a fun game. There are so many things you can do, so many fun gizmos and gadgets and fun treatments at Begin a New Med Spa. If you're like me and you love the anti-aging game and you love to see the latest technology, they always have it at Begin a New. You know, if you're doing the laser hair removal, it really does matter how new the lasers are. And at Begin a New, they take care of you with new lasers. Maybe you're looking to lose the weight. I was watching that Oprah special last night all about the semaglutide and the Manjuro and the Ozempic and they've got it at Begin Anew and they can help you with your weight loss journey. At Begin Anew, they also help get those hormones in check. Men and women, they can help you feel better, get that youthful energy back and be your old self again. Go online today, make your appointment, beginanewmed.com and see them on Indian Town Road in Jupiter. Begin a new med.com injured in an accident visit Lytle Riders Smith Ivy and Fronrath at fouryourrights.com they keep it real the KVJ show on 97.9 WRMF talking about a little awkward here there's this girl who's on TikTok her name's Amina she was with this dude who she thought that she was going to be marrying So she came up with this, what she thought, really good idea. She composed a decade's worth of love notes to be sent from her past self to her boyfriend and future husband on special dates, like birthdays and special anniversaries. 
So there's a service that actually does this and will send these sentimental love letters that you pen on these dates so you don't have to think about it. It's a cool service, right? Yeah. She writes this all out. They're gushy. They're lovely. And she then gets dumped. In fact, it did not end well. I think he cheated on her and it was just horrific and it was terrible. But in that moment, she realized, oh my gosh, let me go and cancel this. And then she realized she lost her password. Oh, no. So there's nothing she can do. These love messages are going to be sent to her ex now every single birthday and anniversary they have. <laughs> oh, He's no. going to think she is the biggest psycho ever. <laughs> it's kind of a rough thing. You huh? might have to re-sign up for that service and send him new letters going, disregard the <laughs> first letter. I truly hate you. Now. He's going to think you're such a psycho. Be like, oh, my gosh, she's bipolar. <laughs> She loves me. She hates me. I don't understand what's going on here. <laughs> Just absolutely crazy. All right. Coming up here in a couple of minutes, need a little perspective. How about a thought for your day? Jaybird's got that for you coming up next. I thought that I've been hurt before, but no one's ever left me quite this sore. Your words cut deeper than a knife. Now I need someone to breathe me back to life Got a feeling that I'm going under But I know that I'll make it out alive If I quit calling you my lover Move on You watch me bleed until I can't breathe Shaking, falling onto my knees And now that I'm without your kiss Just like a moth drawn to a flame Oh, you lured me in, I couldn't sense the pain Your bitter heart cold to the touch Now I'm gonna reap what I sow I'm left seeing red on my own Got a feeling that I'm going under but I know that I'll make it out alive If I quit calling you my lover Move on You watch me bleed until I can't breathe Shaking, falling onto my knees And now that I'm without your kisses I'll be in here in stitches Tripping over myself Aching, begging you to come out Needle in the bread, gotta get you out of my head. Needle in the bed, gonna wind up dead. Needle in the bed, gotta get you out of my head. Needle in the bed, gonna wind up dead. Needle in the bed, gotta get you out of my head. Needle in the bed, gonna wind up dead. Needle in the bed, gotta get you out of my head. Get you out of my head. You watch me. All right, we got the after the show coming up on both YouTube and Twitch. Go to the platform, look for the KBJ show before we get there, Jaybird. If you would wrap us up with your thought for the day. The reason we have two ears and only one mouth is so we might listen more and talk less. What? I, I forgot. I, I can't. I'm, I'm not listening to you. <laughs> the KBJ show on 97.9 WRMF.